yes. We're back, we're back. I am continuing this, despite the fact that I was saying that we would finish it uh, the previous stream. But I didn't expect the game to just keep going after we... You know, after... For so long after the possibility of the bad ending. I was kind of thinking that the happy ending would be right around the corner, considering we got the bad ending. But it appears to keep going for a bit longer than, than that. And now we're gonna figure out how much longer. Um, this might... This time it is probably gonna be the last stream. Don't quote me on that though, because as I've said, I don't really know how much longer this game is. But there's really only one way to find out, isn't there? So, without further ado, let's jump back into the game. Also, I kind of missed that, hang on. How many times have we all gone out together this summer? <clears throat> oh, oh, come on, Toad. We haven't hung out that often. Uh, and of course you're... Well, not the first, but the second person to speak after me. Which is annoying. Because I've said it multiple times, but... I'll say it again, Monica. I don't like doing your voice at all. But oh well. It probably just feels that way to him, because he never comes out of his nasty gamer cave. I feel personally attacked, but that's pretty much every time I talk to Natsuki. <laughs> hey, that's uncalled for. <laughs> Yuri, isn't it true? Oh, Yuri's here. There she is. I was wondering where she was. Oh, well. Yuri, you're supposed to be on my side. Oh, and of course. Of course, Yuri's here too. <laughs> if Yuri's not supporting you, then you're definitely in the wrong. Wait, what? How am I in the wrong? Just a second, let me just... There we go. What? How am I in the wrong? You hurt, you hurt her, Toad. <laughs> it's always the worst when everyone teases me at once. I hope the audio's okay, by the way. I said it in the Genshin stream already, but I'm gonna say it this time, because um, because I'm just gonna say it. Also, I know that for Monica's voice especially, I'm gonna be difficult to hear. I can already see that coming. I can see that coming from a mile away. But I figured I might as well just ask if everything else is okay. I think you mean it's the best? <laughs> right. Right, no wait, Natsuki. Where's that tea place you're always talking about again? Natsuki perks right up when she hears the word tea. You mean Hatterful Tea? Haven't we been there before? Yeah, but it was just Natsuki, you and I who were there. Wow, so you guys excluded Yuri and me, huh? Yes. We did, totally on purpose. Eh, not on purpose. You guys were busy. <laughs> Only joking. So, where is this favorite tea place? It's actually not that far. We should totally go. Um, what kind of tea? Well, I mean, it's a modern cafe, so it specializes in boba. A fleeting look of consternation passes over Yuri's face. But I've heard that they also serve really good traditional teas. Oh? Yeah, I was surprised when I heard about it too, but apparently the reviews say it's legit. Either way, I think you should at least try the boba though. Have you ever had any? Um, I don't think so. What? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Um, uh, how could such a tiny girl move so quickly? That's the little ones you gotta watch out for. <laughs> they're the ones with the high speed stats. The big ones, they're the tanky ones, usually. <laughs> the heavy hitters. <laughs> oh god, now I'm, now I'm talking game terminology again. Hooray. It's just that you're out of shape, and now you're all sweaty and gross. Natsuki... 
We all are. You dragged us here at jogging pace. That's clearly an exaggeration. <laughs> You're actually walking kind of fast. Okay, okay. Why don't you guys look over the menu while you catch your breath then? That sounds good, good to me. Come on, Yuri. Let me show you my favorites. Natsuki grabs Yuri's hand and leads her over to the menu, happily chatting away. They have seriously grown close over the summer. I wonder if Yuri would consider Natsuki her best friend. <clears throat> it looks like Natsuki's about to steal your girlfriend away from you, Ko. Is Monica a mind reader? Pfft, they'd totally be incompatible as a couple. Or would they? I guess you have competi some competition now, eh? <laughs> really? Okay, sure. Feel free to call it competition. Where's this conversation even going? Soon enough, we're all sitting outside with plastic cups in hand. So, what do you guys think? Of the drinks, I mean? Still as good as I remember it. Same here! See where you come this all the nuts. This is definitely one of the better mobile places around the area. Um, give me a second, I need to check something real quick. Alright, back at it. Sorry about that, just as I've said, had to check something, but that's all taken care of, so let's get back into it. Definitely one of the better boba places, yeah, I read that. <clears throat> I know, right? And that's why my taste is undoubtedly the best. Don't get don't get too smug now. What about you, Yuri? How's your drink? Unlike the rest of us, Yuri opted to order hot traditionally made green tea. It's actually quite good, better than I would have expected from, uh, from a place that doesn't specialize in traditional tea. Ha! <laughs> I'm not really into that, so I guess I wouldn't really know. But you'd still try some actual boba. Here, you can have some of mine. Natsuki hands a drink to Yuri, fending off Yuri's weak protests. Tentatively, Yuri takes a sip, her eyes widen in surprise as she drinks. And she takes a moment to chew on the boba before giving her verdict. That's really good. You know, can I just say I've never actually had boba tea? So I, I wouldn't really know. I wouldn't really know if it's any good. But <laughs> I guess I probably should try it at some point, right? But I don't know. I don't know if there's any good boba place around anyway. But I'm gonna have to try it at some point, considering I've never actually had boba and... Apparently, it's very well liked, co uh, commonly, so... Oh well. Gotta try at some point. It's sweet, but not too sweet. The light citrus undernotes cut through the sweetness. The actual tapioca balls add some interesting texture as well. They're quite chewy, but not in a bad way. I told you you'd like it. Uh, great, great, <coughs> great analysis of Natsuki's drink, Yuri. Uh, that was pretentious, pretentious of me, wasn't it? Nah, that was fine. I'd say that it shows how much you actually like it. Uh, I suppose so. Okay, okay. <coughs> Monica, one day you're gonna be the death of me. Okay, everyone. Have a good day. Oh, 
My voice should... It... I'm saying it again, it worked in the beginning. Why has my voice since then not really allowed me to do a voice anymore? What have I done? Where have I gone wrong? I have a great idea. How about we all write poetry about food? Poetry about food? Really? Ah, uh, Monica! Please don't add any extra homework to our summer vacation. I agree with that. We can't can't we save it until school starts again? Well, should I try? I mean, usually I try to make the poems for the descriptions at least somewhat descriptive of what actually happens and happened in the stream. But should I just try writing a poem about food? I don't really know if that would. If I would be any good at that. I mean, I'm al I already suck at writing poetry, so de I definitely won't be good at that. But should I try? Should I? Maybe. Maybe I should try. I'll see. It all, For one, it depends on whether or not I'll even remember that after the stream ends. <sighs> you guys have even started on your summer homework yet, have you? No. Of course. Of <coughs> Of course. Yeah, I'm very quiet when I do Monica's voice. I've noticed. I've noticed. I'm. I've decided to actually start looking at the um, at the sound output in comparison between the game and my voice. And yeah, there's some def def definitive difference there. Oh well. Let's talk about something else. I concur. <coughs> A few hours later, Yuri and I are waving goodbye to Sayori in front of my house. You know what this means. Back at it with Yuri! Ah, damn it! Ah, 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 ah. Ah, why? Ah, my elbow! Ah, of course this had to happen! <laughs> Uh, it was only a matter of time until I hurt myself during a stream. <laughs> oh. Oh. Help. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay. Calm down. I'm back. <sighs> well, that happened. <laughs> uh, I still can't believe that actually just happened. Uh, okay, okay. I didn't even hit it on anything. I just, uh, <laughs> I just decided to prop myself up a bit and readjust my seating position. And for some reason, it just. Uh, why? <laughs> I mean, it was bound to happen at some point. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> enough distraction. Enough. <laughs> uh, I need to keep going. Oh, so TJ Brown, hey, welcome to the stream. <laughs> uh, I can be, leave you almost drank all of Natsuki's string. Yes, let, let's talk about that instead. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I told you I had a sweet tooth. <laughs> Don't worry, it was super cute. Yuri blushes and looks down. As, as usual, she's better at taking compliments. Come on, let's head inside. We're home. Sorry for the intrusion. All right. I always forget that the mom's in the game. But I guess that what that's what happens when you don't really play a major role in this game. Well, then again, she did kind of help in not getting the bad ending. So, oh well. Okay. <sighs> Get into the zone here. Welcome back, you two. How'd your day go? It was pretty fun. We just walked around town with the others. Yuri here found a new favorite drink, too. Oh, really? What is it? Um, boba? Oh, I remember drinking that all the time as a university student. We'll have to go get some together sometime. Well, that sounds lovely. I'll be looking forward to it. Although Yuri is still pretty formal with my mom, it's clear that she's warmed up to her. Only Yuri got rid of her sense of uh, pro propriety. Jesus Christ. Words. Hey, you wanna come up to my room for a bit? 
Another blush rises from Yuri's cheeks as she darts a glance at mom. Uh, oh, um, sure. <laughs> don't worry, I am not going to intrude on your couple time. Just don't forget to come down and help me with dinner. I'm just dying to learn a new recipe from you, Yuri. <laughs> I won't be late. <sighs> now that we are alone in my room, I can talk freely. Or we can talk freely. So, how have things been? In terms of your mental health. Getting straight to the point, I see. <laughs> Better than beating around the bush, right? Mm, that's true. At this point, it does make me feel less awkward about it when you're straightforward. It's been going well. There's a shy smile wav uh, wavering on Yuri's face. That's good to hear. Have yourself harmed lately? I squeeze her hand as I ask the question. It's still hard for me to talk about it, but we've both gotten a lot more used to discussing these topics. N not this week. Yuri, that's, that's great. Sorry, I can't think of anything else to say that can express my happiness. <laughs> to make up for my lack of words, I opt to kiss Yuri on the cheek. She responds by leaning her head against me. Once again, I'm hit by the scent of lavender, sh lavender shampoo. <sighs> you can't you can't stop sniffing her hair, can you? <laughs> oh. I guess that's a subconscious reaction, I think. Again, I have no experience on the matter. Thank you. Don't get your hopes too high though. I still have urges, just less frequently. That's still seriously good news. I throw you a one week clean party, but I know how much you dislike parties. You know me well. I swear I could have. N I should have never let Natsuki touch you. <sighs> I swear I should have never let Natsuki teach you the art of sarcasm. <laughs> and memes. How's it going? Hi, welcome to the stream. <laughs> We're still hanging out with Yuri. I was kind of thinking that I would end her character out uh, the previous stream. But this game is a lot longer than I expected. But we avoided the bad ending, so it's all going good. Well, someone's clearly obsessed with Yuri. <laughs> yes, we're still hanging out with Yuri Chan. <laughs> we're, still hang we're still hanging out with her, right? I'm genuinely curious, uh, curious though, how long this will actually keep uh, go on now, because considering we've already made it past the point where we got the bad ending. So, I would expect this game to not go that much longer. But I expected it to end earlier too. What's with the slaps? <laughs> Alright. Now, <clears throat> I suppose we should just go on, because... Not much point talking about... Well... What I already talked about multiple times, that being that the game's still going on rather than ending after the end bad seemingly end point next to the bad ending rather than to keep talking about that all the time let's just see <laughs> mom it you know how i felt in the beginning how i could when i could never tell if whether you were sarcastic or not yuri sighs a little in contentment i'm glad i met you i'm glad i met you too but I'm being serious here. I am too. I just can't stop grinning because you're with me. Oh, cool. She links our hands together, our fingers sliding together in a fine, uh, familiar embrace. This may sound completely and utterly trite, but while I believe that you can thank happy memories for my improved mental state. Huh? Really? Don't tell me you're talking about the power of love or something like that. Oh, she is. Oh. Okay, then not. No, no, that'd be quite silly. What I mean is that thinking back to all the happy memories I've shared with my loved ones has helped distract me from my urges. That is kind of, you know, pretty much the power of love, isn't it? Well, just distractions in general can serve a Serve to starve off the pain, in my experience. Reading has definitely helped 
me throughout the years, although I do find it particularly enjoyable when I can look forward to discussing my thoughts on a novel with someone. And I'm happy to provide a listening ear to your analyses. Analyses? Analyses. It said analyses, so I think <laughs> that's that might be correct. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> As you should be. I've also been trying out some techniques that we researched together. Oh, you mean things like using a cold spoon to uh, simulate a cut? Yes, they don't always work, but I suppose they help at least a little bit. But in the end, I believe having recent happy memories was the most influential in as assuaging my impulses. You already know this, but before I opened up so much, I was much more pessimistic as a person. Honestly speaking, I felt that everyone else had tolerated my presence at most, well, before I truly got to know them and their real feelings. I'd actually be genuinely surprised every time someone expressed a desire to keep me around. But now you know that everyone does want you around, right? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. All these memories I have of everyone laughing together has helped me to realize, recognize that. <laughs> Monica, Sayori, Natsuki, and you. Everyone's been so good to me. This is another one of those rare times where Yuri can find the right words for her sentiments. The club's truly been life-changing for the both of us, eh? You could say that. Could? You definitely should say that. Hell, it even made me start writing poetry. Oh, yeah, and that's a strange experience to start writing poetry when you have no experience on it. <laughs> By the way, Tanabata is a few weeks away. What's a few weeks away? What? Tanabata, that's the festival in July where people write their, w <laughs> their wishes in the form of poetry on small pieces of paper and hang them on bamboo. Never heard of that before. Well, I guess it's more traditional Japanese, uh, more of a Japanese festival, but um, still, it's not one I've heard of before. Kind of interesting concept. Hmm, you learn something new every day. Every day. Every single day. I can see why Yuri was suddenly reminded of it. Oh yeah, they hold a festival nearby, don't they? <clears throat> Would you like to go together? That'd be lovely. Hang on, let me readjust myself real quick. This time without my elbow causing a ruckus. There we go. Alright. I always found the legend behind Tanabata romantic. A pair of lovers separated by the Milky Way, except for the one day that the festival falls on. Kind of a sad story though, isn't it? Yes, but I always found the bittersweet stories the most touching. Oh, speaking of poetry, I'd nearly forgotten about the poem I'd written for Yuri so long ago. <laughs> However, I hadn't found a good time to give it to her, until now that is. Uh, hold on, I, I have a surprise for you. Hopefully I didn't lose it, I rummaged through my desk drawer and breathe a sigh of relief once I spot the page I wrote it on. Uh, here, I wrote a poem for you a while back. It was after our Valentine's date, so I guess I was feeling some residual mushiness. <laughs> oh, poem time again. It's been a while. Let's check it out. Sunset Sweet. In the night I missed the sun, I think of you, the only one, to make me feel the way I felt that love-filled day. Our gazes that met at spring sunset made a slow-burning fire rise up ever higher. The warmth of your lips was oh so sweet, a memory of which none can compete. Ah, sweet, and yeah, very mushy. Very, very mushy, but I, I mean, I guess it's fitting in this particular case. 
Also, this is the first poem that the that we actually get to see that the protagonist wrote, right? Because usually we don't get to see the poems he writes. Right? Yeah, the only other time we saw his handwriting even was during the Halloween event when he got a, uh, found a different poem online. I have not forgotten about that, so it's not the first time we've seen his handwriting. God, thank you. I can't believe you wrote this for me. <laughs> well, I did promise a poem for you basically a week after I met you, so you could definitely believe it. You know what I mean. <sighs> she gently caresses my face with her hand. It's as small and dainty as ever. Spontaneously, we simultaneously lean in and kiss for a moment that lasts an eternity. I don't want to stop when we break apart, but here is the one who pulls away. Oh, we should really be helping your mother in the kitchen by now. <sighs> Hang on. Okay. Can't we spend a little more time up here first? Code, we promised that we'd help. Come along now. Uh. Damn, why couldn't Yuri have learned to slack off from me? <laughs> oh well. I guess that's one of the reasons why she's so endearing to me. Smiling through a sigh, I get off the bed and join her in heading downstairs. And time to get on to the next day. Text box appeared and immediately disappeared. What? Okay, this is just weird right now. <laughs> We see the car and they're both just, <laughs> they both look like they're on the seat just standing there, or rather kneeling on that seat. And the car appears rather big. Well, it's the first time we've seen a car from the inside in this game. Oh well. <clears throat> so, are you too excited for the festival? Uh, I remember writing wishes for Tanabata with my friends. I haven't gone to a festival in a while. My, not since my parents were still alive, that is. Mom glances at the, uh, in the rearview mirror uh, to meet Yuri's eyes for a moment. I hope you'll be able to do their memories justice by having a good time today, then. Yeah, I'm sure we will. As Mom and Yuri chat, I find myself lulled into a dazed, half-sleep state by the sound of the car engine. The fact that mom knows about Yuri's parents is a mark of how far uh, their relationship has come. They've definitely become a lot closer. I'm sure that mom already sees Yuri as kind of a daughter. Yuri certainly comes around to my house enough these days for mom to see her that way. I can only hope that Yuri's come to see her as a mother figure too. The streetlights outside blur by in a pale golden streaks as we drive through the neighborhood. It's a good thing my mom's still able to work at home, otherwise Yuri and I would be walking outside in the cold. Code? What? Didn't you hear us calling you? We're here. Ah, right. Sorry guys, falling asleep there. <laughs> this should wake you up then. Mom opens the car door, causing me to immediately get blasted by a gust of cold night air. I'm instantly sensed shivering. I guess that was an effective way to wake me up as well as any. Jeez, it's freaking cold out. Didn't uh, we did tell you to bring a jacket, you know? I thought you guys were exaggerating. You know what they say about assumptions. Okay, okay, save the lecture for when we get back home, please. I suppose we better get going then. Stay safe, you two, and have lots of fun for me. <laughs> sure thing, Mom. Looks pretty nice. We shut the car door, and after waving goodbye, we're left alone at the entrance to the festival. The bright lights of the festival sparkly contrast the darkness of the streets we've just been driving through.
What's ordinarily a plain city street is now transformed by a multitude of colorful stalls and tables decked out overhead by glowing lanterns. Crowds of people from all ages mill about, chattering and yelling away happily to create a cacophony of noise. As we step into the th into the throngs, throngs with an R, don't miss that R, <laughs> the temperature difference is instantly noticeable. Here, the body heat of dozens upon dozens of people along with the heat from food stalls stuffs warms up the night. Heavily smells of frying food waft through the air, causing my stomach to gurgle expectantly. Oh man, are you hungry? A bit, everything smells delectable. I'm definitely going to blow all my pocket money on food tonight. <laughs> Good choice, you've been saving up for this for a while, haven't you? You bet I have, it's not every day that I can indulge in this much junk food. Suddenly I feel a tap on my shoulder. Eh? And way to ruin our date. Aha! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> How nice. Uh, right, I wanted to mention something. Due to the fact of uh, me getting multiple links by now in chat, especially by one specific person, I have decided to kind of uh, update Streamlabs a bit to ensure that links are possible, but limited. Not limited in number, but limited in websites. So that way I can still avoid scams and stuff like that. But uh, sadly that also means that self-promotion is possible, which is not something I want to encourage. So if you self-promote, it's not gonna get caught by Streamlabs naturally, because that'll that'll just be hard to figure out what's gonna be self-promotion. Um, but I definitely will have to look into that if you self-promote yourself, that I might just have to ban you after the fact, or during the stream. Well, not ban, but... You know. Actually, no. Nothing too serious. I'm probably just gonna give you a warning. Well, now I've discussed that, and now that that's all cleared up, we might get, we, we, we should just get back into it. Hey, Claude, fancy meeting you here. Behind me is that Monica, Sayori, and Natsuki. It seems that they are ju they've just arrived too. What a coincidence! It's like fate! <laughs> well, this is a popular festival, so I doubt that we'll see other class, uh, that we'll see other classmates as well tonight. Don't doubt. There we go. Shush! Don't ruin the magic, Yuri! <laughs> so, you guys plan to come together too, then? Yep. Tell my brother is a festival related to poetry, after all. So I decided to make this into a club trip. Hey, th why didn't we get an invite, then? Edit, we already mentioned that- uh, you already mentioned that you were going with Yuri before? Oh yeah, I, I guess I did. Remember what you mentioned around the club next time. You and Yuri make such a great couple here. Be sure to take lots of pictures. Ah, uh, thank you. Come on, guys, let's not disturb these lovers any further. Eh, <laughs> see you two later. The three girls soon disappear into the crowd, leaving Yuri and me alone again. Finally, no obstacles between myself and food. Man, I can't remember when I've had such a um, such good <sighs> okonomiyaki. The Japanese pancakes are bursting with umami, having been slathered in sauce and piled high with various toppings. How is your dango? Yuri, ever the sweet tooth, has been nibbling at a couple of sweet dumplings for a while now. They're exactly how I remember them from when I was a child. <laughs> I don't doubt they... I doubt they would have messed with a classic recipe as regular old dark dango. You never know, there are lots of modern variations of foods these days. Have you been looking up recipes again? Uh, Looks like I got her. 
There's nothing wrong with variety. Uh, I know. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. I know you never mean anything in a bad way. We make our way to the center of the plaza uh, and settle down on a quiet bench together. Various bamboo trees are set up before us, with quite a few decorations and festival wishes already hung up on branches. The slender green stalks sway gently in the wind, rustling quietly as if whispering. Cole, you don't know how thankful I am that I have met you. Honestly speaking, you've changed my life for the better. I couldn't have asked for a better boyfriend. I can't believe how good of a person you are. Hold up, Yuri. You don't have to gush about me so much. I think you're giving me too much credit. But you have changed me. Well, I guess I did help some, but nothing would have mattered if you didn't decide to help yourself in the end. You're the one who put in so much effort to change. You're the one who decided to open up to me. And for that reason, I am the one who is thankful that I got to meet such a wonderful and thoughtful girl. Plus, it wasn't just me who helped provide you happy memories either. The rest of the club helped too, right? Especially Natsuki? Yuri leans into me idly, fiddling with her sleeve. Uh, with my sleeve. You... you know what? You're right, I, I did help myself. I've always been scared to... to think well of myself and to presume that I have the willpower to help myself. But in the end, I think that it's true. It's a bit frightening to think that I've actually come all this way. Well, frightening's the wrong word. Shocking, maybe? In the end, I suppose my support network helped me realize some things about myself, though. Because of all of you, I was able to identify my flaws and find the motivation to try to resolve them. You all treated me like a normal person. You didn't pity me or act like I was fr a fragile angel. Yuri, you're the one, you're one of the strongest people I know. I'd never see you as someone to pity, and I'm sure the others feel the same. <clears throat> I'm sure they do. To be honest, I don't know if I would have been able to get through the same stuff you have. Well, we grew up in totally different circumstances, so we would be able to tell. But knowing you, I think you would have been able to do it. And probably in less time than it took me to. Yuri, hey. You're taking just the right amount of time with this stuff, in my opinion. There's no use rushing something as delicate as this. I have faith in you, Yuri. I've seen how much time and effort you've put into changing. I know how strong you are. Cold. Yuri squeezes my hand in hers. Do you have the papers to write our wishes on? Yeah, right here. Do you know what you're going to write? I believe so. D don't peek. I wouldn't dream of it. We spend a few mo uh, quiet moments scribbling down our wishes. I have to rack my brain for ideas before I settle on the perfect callback poem for Yuri. Do you want to see mine before I hang it up? Sure thing. Another poem, my wish. Time to read. <clears throat> Standing under the bamboo, I gaze at the stars. They twinkle steadily, tiny beacons in the night. As I watch them, I fill with expectation, hope springing out from my heart as I yearn for understanding. Wishing for a melting of perspectives, a way to change the world. My heart wavers as I turn to look at the ones around me. Guiding stars, their paths align with mine, leading me onwards towards the distinct uh, distant dawn. I gather my courage, searching out, uh, reaching out to them. Holding them close, I pray for this feeling to last. Yearning for the day, I can accept this brilliance and make it my own, so that the stars of my life might shine and light away in the dark. As always, the poetry... pretty good. 
Hey, that's pretty good. <clears throat> uh, I thought I'd make a return to, to form and write this one in free verse. Yeah, I noticed that. It's a nice throwback. <laughs> you always kept a preference for the, for free verse, didn't you? Mm, although writing meter and rhyme are interesting exercises, I always feel most able to express my true self using free verse. Yeah. Speaking of free verse, um, that's what I tried on the previous stream's poem. Actually, not just free verse, I tried to kind of mirror the structure of um, Yuri's first ever poem that we get to see in the game. I kind of tried to mirror that structure and I... I think I did okay? Then again, I have no idea. Because, as always, I'm not a master in poetry. <laughs> Unlike Yuri. <laughs> and probably also the people who made this mod because new poems written by Yuri. There had to have been someone writing them in the in the development team. Alright. Also, I'm guessing that you wrote about stars because of the legend behind Tanabata. That's right. <clears throat> Sorry. Well, I also thought that the stars looked beautiful tonight. But when I was thinking about it, my mind kept returning to the North Star for some reason. And it was then that I realized how fitting it would be to compare everyone in my life to guiding stars as a metaphor. Poetic as always, Yuri. But you know what? You're the star in my life. <laughs> Yuri giggles shyly, softly taking hold of one of my hands. Thank you, Code. And yes, you were one of my foremost people in my thoughts. There were you, the literature club members, your mother, my parents... Therapy? Wait, you're, you're, you're going to therapy? Well, that's one way to... She didn't even tell me, apparently. She didn't even tell me. Yes, I just decided to. I know that you've been advocating it all along, so... That, that's, that's great news. Getting a professional opinion, that's gotta count for something, right? Now that I've learned how to fight my urges more effectively, I want to be able to stay clean for good, uh, and I figured I, that I might as well try therapy out. It's not like it could make me any worse, right? <laughs> That's the spirit. You know, for a time I actually thought you might have regretted telling me about everything. But I'm glad to know that I was dead wrong about that. I don't blame you for thinking that. Come on, you've got to give uh, me some blame at least. I shouldn't have ever doubted you. Man, now my wish is gonna be terrible compared to yours. I thought that I could make you as happy as as yours made me. Well, you can't let me be a judge of that. And another poem from him. Well, certainly there's some stuff happening now. <laughs> More main, main character poems. From me to you. It's summer and the stars are out. I think of the future and what this poem is about. I hope my friendships last much longer. I'd like to watch our bond grow stronger. My days so far have been alright, but I'd like to help you who has made my life seem bright. I'll be by your side if you're ever lonely. Where others may falter, I swear to be your one and only. Even if you don't feel whole, I'll give you a piece of myself to soothe the pain of your weary soul. Because you're important to me. As fragile memories shatter like glass, so will we rebuild them together, and another year will come to pass. Whew. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna ask this. I know that the people behind this mod definitely had, have put more thought into the poems than I did for the poems for my streams. But they must have purposely made the main character be a little bit worse of a poet, right? I think so. Not to say that this poem is bad, absolutely not. But they, I'm just, because again, I, I can't judge these things very well. But honest opinion, I can ask stream chat now, or this also goes for the people watching this on YouTube in the comments. Feel free to tell me, are my poems potentially 
maybe at least as good as the ones of the main character? Or are my poems even worse? I'd, I'd really love to know, you know, I'd love some feedback. <laughs> not like it really matters, because once I'm done with DDLC, I'm not gonna be writing any more poems, probably. Uh, but it was definitely, so far it's definitely been an interesting experience, and I know there'll be way many more poems to come, considering that, you know, this is only one of the three character routes. <clears throat> um, I was actually thinking of the very first poem you ever showed me when I was writing this. I think it was titled Tumble, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, I remember that you wrote about a missing part of yourself and not being important. So I decided to write about how you are basically the most important person in, uh, of my life now. Cody, you actually remembered my poems enough to include some of their motives. Also, yeah, uh, I'm not sure if... In that case, I might be thinking of a different poem for the one I chose to, as the structure. I know I structured it after Ghost Under the Light. Kind of similar to that one in structure. The one I wrote previously. I still have no idea uh, what this, uh, how the poem for this stream is gonna be. It might be about food. Or it might actually be a descriptive poem of the stream. Well, when you're watching this on YouTube, you'll already know. But Twitch chat right now is just as clueless as I am. How could I forget anything related to you? God, I... I love you. And I love you too, Yuri. I gently carve Yuri's face in my hands and kiss her, savoring the slightly sweet taste of her lips. As we break apart for air, Yuri speaks up. Hold on, we still need to hang up our wishes. As we approach the bamboo tree together, the colorful strips of paper bearing the hopes and dreams of dozens of people playfully twirl in the wind. Yuri beams up at me as we hang our wishes side by side. They spin together, constantly brushing against each other as if connected. And they are connected. Connected in that our hopes for the future are intertwined with each other. I can't imagine a future without Yuri at this point. Despite everything that may have happened between us, despite all the baggage from our past swaying us down, we can find strength in each other. We can learn together, change together, grow together. And we can move on to the future together. For a moment I thought that was the ending. Is it the ending? I think we got the ending. Happy ending! I was so close last time. There we go. Full credit to the team of this mod and of course of the original game. Everyone has done a f a f an absolutely amazing job. And I suppose that's the main character flying by. Uh, so we should probably get started on the next one. And there's Sayori! <laughs> is, is it just gonna be everyone? I mean, of course it's gonna be everyone. There's no way that just do Sayori and the main character. There, There's Yuri. There she is. <laughs> and Natsuki. All the people we've made so many memories together with. Especially Yuri, you know. At last but not least, there's Monica. Just holding everyone up, <laughs> seemingly. <laughs> uh, of course. Oh, and of course, then we have the other characters, the... The side characters, like Shiori and her dog. Next up was, oh my god, what was her name? No, it's Sakurai up next. Sakurai and the mother. Well, that's an interesting way for those two to be positioned. Uh, are you telling me that, I mean, the mom has been through a divorce, so she's single right now. <laughs> so she might be getting it out with the teacher. And that's the last girl whose name I honestly can't remember. She appeared even less than, Chi than Chiori, if I'm not mistaken. <sighs> Special thanks. And that's it. Hey! <laughs> Special thanks to me, I appreciate it. <laughs> Special thanks to Twitch chat, and there's the main character. 
Nice. And that's it. That's the end. The happy ending. We got it. We have finally achieved it. Well. I mean, yeah, if I... I could have streamed, like, it wasn't quite an hour, but it definitely got close to one. So I understand why I cut off my stream uh, before. It's not like we were right around the corner for the ending. Well, I could end it now and that'd be the shortest stream I've made. So actually, no, it'd be the second shortest because I can't forget that that second uh, Spooky's House of Jumpscare stream because that one still happened. And that one was definitely the shortest stream and will probably stay my shortest stream. Unless I make a stream that I specifically intend to be absolutely short. <laughs> and I think, actually, was the Hololive Isekai stream also a bit shorter? I think so. I mean, that wasn't a very long game and it wasn't even the full game. I should check in on how development for that game is going, by the way. I'm curious to see where it goes. Although I, I'm not sure if I want to play every single update that comes out or if I'm just gonna wait until they release a full version. If they're ever gonna do that. Now then. We've done pretty much everything. So you know what this means. Re As I've said, I could end it here, but that's that wouldn't be very nice, right? So now, you can jump into it again and go for Natsuki, as promised. Shouldn't be possible, right? That's that's Monica talking. Also, you know what? Yeah, we can. Let's skip through the beginning at least. And yes, we want to keep going. We want to experience the game as it's supposed to be. Well then, at least Act One we can basically, especially through the first day, we can kind of skip. Uh, what was just going on? I completely missed what was he, what they were talking about. I'm gonna go with Natsuki here. So do you have... What were we talking about? Is that so that I guess I'll head over there. Maybe something might catch my eye. Awkwardly to the bookshelf. Plenty of books here if you want to check out what we have. I'm sure you'll find something that matches your taste. All right, yeah, we're, we're gonna get her recommendation now. So wait, we don't even get a book from Yuri in that case? Or did I... I think we don't even get a book from Yuri. I complete. Maybe I should have read through it again because it's been a while since I've played through the beginning. And you know what? From here on out, we will read again. I think. Yeah. Uh, so do you have any recommendations? I take a closer look at the book sh uh, books that I s as I say that, and to my surprise, I notice that there is a rather extensive collection of manga on the bottom shelves. When I glance back up at the girls, I notice Natsuki staring down at the manga too. Her eyes suddenly meet, and she looks away, blushing. Whoa! <laughs> it's day one. We've just met, and you're already blushing. <laughs> All right, this is going nicely. Oh, well, what do you like to read, huh? Honestly, I just read manga most of the time, so the collection down there caught my eye. I didn't know that manga was allowed in a in the classroom like this. Uh, those are actually Natsuki's. Don't just say it like that! <laughs> I, I just put them there while I was reorganizing the closet. Monica always messes with my collection when she goes in there, so I'm trying to take more space for them, make more space for them. As she says this, Natsuki shoots a look to Monica, who smiles sweetly in return. Which, use, which series do you have? I've read a lot, but I don't think I recognize many here. Most of the book spines are vibrantly colored, with big blocky letters announcing the titles. The bosses are made, Rice Ball Basket, Orange High, Sc Orange High School Nightclub. I've never heard of these series in my life. Now I am curious. I didn't. I, I never even checked that about Parfait Girls. But do you guys think these names, or maybe any of those names, maybe not all of them, are a reference to an actual series that doesn't have a huge fan base? I might have to look that up at some point. 
then again, I'm probably gonna forget by the end of the stream, and that's gonna be that. That probably means they're either way out of my demographic, or they're simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. He points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. This exact conversation usually happens on day two when we share p when we have Natsuki's poem. When we write a poem for Natsuki, this is usually the conversation that occurs. And now we haven't even written a poem for her. And this conversation's already happening. So they pulled this a little bit uh, ahead of schedule. Interesting. Very interesting. Didn't even say anything. I could tell just by your expression. But I'll tell you one thing, Code. Consider this a str lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, Natsuki stomps over to the bookshelf, elbowing me out of the way, and pulls out a very pink book from a box set. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She unceremoniously shoves it right into my hands. Ah, I stare at the cover. Parfait Girls? It's first volume of a series titled Parfait Girls. Oh, who could have guessed? It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Well, don't just stand there. Wah! <laughs> Natsuki, have you considered that maybe Code might not want to read this? Excuse me? Who are you to say that Code likes or dislikes something? I quickly break it. <laughs> I quickly break in to try to relieve some of the sudden tension. Uh, thanks for your concern, Yuri, but I'm definitely open to trying out new things. I don't usually read this stuff, but I'm willing to give it a try. Oh, alright then. Yuri, no need to be concerned, except you have to be concerned, because... Natsuki's just stealing me away from you after all this time. <laughs> You're no longer my girlfriend. <laughs> I'm, the... uh, I'm now with Natsuki. Sorry, Yuri. Sorry, Yuri. This is This is it for us. No, don't worry, I still have the save file where we're, where we're a couple. Natsuki triumphantly smirks a bit. While Yuri absent minded abashedly, sorry, abashedly, looks away. I guess I can't satisfy everyone. I'd have thought you spent enough time in the literature club to not judge books by their covers either, Yuri. Manga can have just as deep of, st of storylines as your novels can. I never said they can, it's just... You looks like she's holding herself back from saying something. Just what? Just because they don't- they have pictures in them? They're childish or something? Well, there's a reason why people say a picture's worth is a thousand words. Sometimes there are things that are best described through art, Manga blends both good art and good writing to create fantastic stories. Plus, being able to actually see the characters helps you relate and empathize with them. Yuri thinks to herself, looking a bit perturbed. Alright then. I, I see it just meant that manga is a bit unorthodox as a medium. Well, manga is literature too? That's ob it's obvious that the two girls have their differences, you think? Yuri appears comparably more mature and timid, and seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Yeah, these lines are definitely thrown out of order a lot. Meanwhile, Natsuki seems to be a lot more forward and outspoken. And although she looks like the youngest one in the club, she's clearly just as passionate about her hobbies as the others are. Anyway... This'll be your homework today, Code. I'll let you borrow the volume i I'll let you borrow volume one for tonight. So you can start on the next so we can start on the next book tomorrow. But if you smudge it or bend it, I'll kill you. Ah, you don't have to worry about that. I'm pretty protective of my manga too. Is it really alright if I borrow it though? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish if you only read it here. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. And we haven't even start. 
You know, in the original, we at least start the series together. We don't finish the first volume, but we at least start it together. And that's not happening now. <sighs> if you're trying to get someone into the series, and you want to accompany, accompany them for at least a little bit, then the beginning is the best place to actually accompany them. To actually um, introduce them to your passion yourself. I mean... At least that's my opinion. Like, for example, if you have a series that you really enjoy and you want your friend to uh, watch it, and maybe watch a little bit of it with them, then the best place to... Um, then the best opportunity to watch it with them would be at the very beginning of the series, because from personal experience I can say that it's a lot easier to actually start watching a series that you get recommended if the person that recommends you the series actually just starts watching it with you. Because in that case, you're thrown in, you don't have to actually build up the, okay, I'm gonna build myself up here, I need to start watching this series. You don't have to do that at all, because the other person is pushing uh, pushing it on you, pretty much. And then once you're actually into the series, suddenly you're gonna watch it on your own. That's my personal uh, experience, by the way. Can't say for sure if that's the same for everyone else. That's how I got into JoJo's, by the way. I got it recommended so many times, by especially by some of my friends, but I never actually started watching it. <laughs> Until one day I was visiting a friend's house and he just said, you know what, let's just start watching the first three episodes. And after that I was hooked and marathoned through the entire show in like a week. So, <laughs> that's the best way to get someone into a show. Just force them to watch the first episode and watch along with them. Well, that might, might not work for all people, but it definitely worked for me. Alright, anyway, back on topic, but I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Okay then. The girls on the cover of the manga beam up at me. I can't help but shiver a bit. I guess I shouldn't underestimate what high school girls are into. Alright then. Hopefully I can get away with skimming through it. Make sure you read it thoroughly, because I'll be quizzing you on it tomorrow. Is she a mind reader? <laughs> In any case, I think I'll give it a shot now, actually. I want to make sure that I have enough time to finish it after uh, after all. Fine, but I'll be keeping a close eye on you then. I slide into a nearby desk as the rest of the girls dissipate, moving to work on their own things. I quickly start flipping through the pages. Given that uh, pictures take up the majority of space on the pages of the manga, it doesn't take me long to get through the, uh, through the beginning. As I read, I start to become more aware of Natsuki sneaking peeks in my direction. Oh, are we actually gonna read together now? She seems intently focused on my face, <clears throat> as if waiting to see my reactions to her manga. I clear my throat. Ahem. <coughs> Ahem. Natsuki. <laughs> oh no, I'm doing the Sakurai voice, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was not intentional. <laughs> uh, just m trying to make the main character sound important and bam, I'm into the, into the teacher voice again. Ahem, <clears throat> Natsuki, do you need something? You seem to really like looking in my direction. I feel a smile creeping through Natsuki's face. Uh, I feel a smile creeping through as Natsuki starts to furiously blush and splutters in response. Y you idiot! It's not like I was looking at you or anything. I was just, just staring off into space. Baka! <laughs> Baka! Uh, don't you have anything better to do? <laughs> yeah, of course! With that, Natsuki huffily turns away to seek refuge in the closet, where loud rummaging sounds uh, soon follow. I mean, she did say she was gonna be keeping a uh, watch on you to make sure you're reading it properly. So that's why she was looking in your direction. <laughs> Alright. I guess I should keep on reading then. As it turns out, Parfait Girls is just as I imagined it would be. Terrible? <laughs> it's basically about a bunch of friends in high school and the cutesy hijinks they get themselves into. A typical slice of life affair. Slice of life isn't uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Slice of life can be really, really entertaining. 
I mean, I've watched some slice of life anime before, and I can definitely say there are some good series. I haven't read much manga though, especially not you know in that direction. I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm more of a more of an anime guy than a manga guy myself. I've only really read one manga series, and I am ashamed to admit that that's one that came out as an anime first and manga later. And that's the glorious, perfect show that I've dubbed my favorite anime, Little Witch Academia. And if you haven't watched that show yet, you have some catching up to do because that show is amazing. <laughs> Studio Trigger did an amazing job. It was... The animation style is just really great and Little Witch Academia just really brings out everything that makes Trigger Trigger, I think. I do hope that they make a second season at some point. I really do hope so. We're getting off topic again. I, I keep doing that. I apologize. I apologize. I really do. I feel like over on YouTube everyone's just gonna be skipping these sections of me talking about different stuff and just jump right... Uh, just see where I actually continue reading. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. But ooh boy. Uh, when the writing actually, when the writing is good, then the slice of life stuff can really. That's the thing about slice of life stuff. It's usually more and more uh, comedy focused, and I don't know. That's just something that really speaks to me. That's why actually most series I watch have a comedy focus, and that's why I can appreciate slice of life because it usually centers around comedy. But. I guess there are. Uh, I guess that is a challenge that you have to overcome because, yeah, slice of life does kind of lack plot a bit. To its credit, it does manage to subvert some anime tropes quite uh, quite neatly, though. The more I read, the more I can see why it appeals to Natsuki. All that talk about appreciating the expressiveness of art. While I don't exactly read romance manga usually, the artist actually does a pretty good job of portraying the girls as their own characters. I often find that the girls in these kinds of stories are bland and unoriginal, not to mention that they often suffer from same face syndrome too. So it's a pleasant surprise to find that the title characters are likable and unique in their own ways. Still, over time I can't help but grow a little bored though. I decide I'll finish it later tonight and place the novel in my bag. Looking up I spot Sayori reading something, might as well see what's, uh, what she's up to. Standing up with a stretch, I make my way over and take a seat next to her. Hey, how's it going, Sayori? What are you reading? As I sit down, I notice that she looks quite content. Nothing much, just reading some stuff for a school project. What about you? You seem really into your book. Yeah, we've seen this, but as I've said, I'm probably gonna read it again, unless we're getting into pretty boring stuff. Oh yeah, it was a good read, at least as far as I can tell right now. I can't help but wish I sounded a little bit more enthusiastic. That's great, so how are you liking the club? You're not bored, are you? She looks a little worried, her cheerful persona faltering for a moment. Actually, I don't know if I should be rereading this, it's gonna take forever to get through and we're in Act 1, Act 1 is basically gonna be pretty much the same, right? Except for, you know, the character specific scenes, so I, I think I really am gonna have to skip through Act 1 at least. And starting with Act 2 is when it gets serious. Okay? Yeah, let's do that. Speed things up at least a little bit. Time to write a poem. Okay, this is where it gets real. B. Natsuki. Kitty. Skipping. Uh, uh, they all seem like either Yuri or Sayori words right now. I don't think I can actually do it. Starscape is gonna be definitely Yuri. And Holiday seems like I think Holiday is Sayori. I'm gonna go with a little bit more Yuri because I feel like I'm more often gonna mistake uh, Natsuki and Sayori words. So let's. Go with this for one starscape. Email, definitely. Socks. 
bunny, sugar, poof, <clears throat> mouse, papa, games, I'm on a roll right now, sweet. Wait, that was Sayori, wasn't it, right now she was jumping, boop, anime. Yeah, I feel like I definitely have more in common with Natsuki than Yuri. <laughs> Alright, uh, lipstick. Jump. Jumpy. Uh, fickle? No, that was her. Ah, pout. Uh, swimsuit. Hey, I did that pretty well, I think. I messed up on three of them. Okay. So there are gonna be new activities today. I'm just gonna... So... I'm just gonna read it and after we've done the Natsuki-specific stuff, I'm gonna get back into skipping. Kill the fancy new you here. <laughs> yeah, what a coincidence, huh? Seriously speaking, though, I'm happy to see you back here. I would have been disappointed if you ran away on us. <laughs> hey, I enjoy myself. I enjoyed myself last time, so I why wouldn't I come back? True enough. Feel free to make yourself at home before we start on our club activities. <clears throat> Thanks, will do. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Suri and I were the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Uh, oh, God, I'm glad to see you here again. Who knew that something so simple would warrant so much thanks? First Monica, and now Yuri. I know that it may be overwhelming to be thrown into a new hobby so suddenly, much less an organization centered around that hobby. So don't hesitate to let me know if you ever need any help. Um, or any other club members for that matter. That is to say, feel free to ask any one of us for assistance. Right, thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Don't worry though, it's not like I've never read anything before. <laughs> I even remember to write a poem for today, if you'll believe it. We'll believe it when we see it? Hey, it's not like I need to have a university degree to write a poem. It was just like another school assignment, although it might be a little new to me. It's not that hard. It's not that hard to write a bad poem, you mean? She's got me there. And that's why I never said I wrote a good poem. Natsuki smirks at me, seemingly pleased that I'm not offended by her teasing. Well, good is often subjective when it comes to subjects like these. Also, yeah, I'm the type of guy I can I can I can deal with a little teasing. I can manage that. Because <laughs> if I just talk down on me, it's not too bad because I often talk down on myself. So I can definitely handle people getting in some jabs. To some degree, of course. Don't, uh, I don't like it when people overdo it, naturally. I'm sure you did fine, Code. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence. Try not to overhype my work, though. <laughs> yeah, Yuri. If you keep your expectations low, you'll never be disappointed. Besides, I bet it's the first extracurricular codes done since high school started. So extra work is probably really foreign to him. Again, she's not wrong, but she doesn't have to say it like that. Natsuki, you're being unfairly harsh. Code, what would you say your main hobbies are? Wow, she's really putting me on the spot here. I know I'm playing into your teasing right now, but yes, I spend a lot of my time playing games and watching anime. And that's all you need to know. Natsuki, I don't think you're very different, are you? Are you? Be honest here. You're not. You're really not. There's a reason why games and anime, both things I picked for this poem, are in your list of likes. So don't try to take the high road on this one. <laughs> It's a bit rich coming from someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wh what? Natsuki splatters to a halt. Looks like a certain someone uh, knows how to dish it out but can't take it. M manga is literature? Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. God always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He's always been there when I need it. Uh, when we were kids, he'd always be around to help me with stuff. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, you two childhood friends. I glanced at Sayori, despite her cheeky recollection of our childhood memories just then. Yuri's question uh, is a reminder that we haven't spent much time together in a long time. It's a tad awkward. Yeah, we've known each other for a while, haven't we? We smile at each other. I'm really hoping we can use the club to reconnect. A little bit. But it's especially gonna be, you know, on the uh, third run through when we're actually choosing our character out. Such a history with one another, I imagine you've shared much together. You could say that. Would you believe Sayori is still as clumsy now as she was ten years ago? Hey, Meanie, that's not true. Oh? Need I tell Yuri about the time you tried to, to cook lunch and almost set the house on fire? Her face turns pink as she, and she rushes to interrupt me. Anyway, I'm sure you two could be just as good friends. After all, you're both in the literature club now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look forward to it. Yuri looks hopeful at hearing this, although I can't help but wonder. Given the maturity and intelligence she carries so elegantly, and how her passion for reading is much stronger than my own, will it be as easy as Sayori thinks it is? Still, it's worth a try at least. Yeah, and this time it's gonna say as friends. Not, go not going any further this time. Yay! Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Oh, wait, Sayori. Huh? Me? Um, it's not much, really. Don't be shy. Oh, I'm getting a book from the book from her now. So that's happening now. Okay, hooray. It's really nothing. Whatever it is, I'm sure I'll like it. What is it, Yuri? Uh, Sayori made it sound like a big deal, and it's really not. I was going to wait to give it to you at the appropriate time, but... Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. Now I've ruined the surprise. The two girls both looked down, uh, dove, uh dovefully now. <clears throat> I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. <clears throat> hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place, so this is still a pleasant surprise to me. Just knowing that you went through the effort to get me something makes me feel really welcomed. No matter what, I'm sure it'll make me happy. Is that so? Of course, thanks for being so considerate, Yuri. You're welcome. That was the least I could do. Anyway, if that's the case, here it is. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. Oh, and this is new text because I guess the last time you already read the book. And this, and then she gave us a, an extra copy, if I remember correctly, after we already started reading. And this time, we didn't uh, s start reading it, so it's completely new. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she... Uh, she, sing, uh, she even picked out a book she thinks I might possibly like, despite me not reading much. Yuri. But I'm abruptly cut off by Natsuki. You didn't want him to feel left out? What's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to say that he doesn't like my books or anything? Because that's not true. He freaking loves manga, just like me, right, Code? It looks like another Yuri Natsuki argument is cropping up again. I glance over at Yuri to find a variety of different emotions running over her face. She seems conflicted between standing up for herself and backing down to keep the peace. After a beat, uh, she opens her mouth to speak, her resolve straightened. Natsuki, that's not what I meant to say at all. I was simply referring to the fact that Code may not have much of a literature collection himself, given that he has said that he is not a reader. Giving him a book is in a totally different genre would benefit him in broadening his knowledge of the literary world. Yuri suddenly appears to notice that all eyes are on her. Uh, I apologize if you... if I worded that too harshly. No, you're fine, Yuri. While I definitely do love manga, I think I can. Uh, I think that it do me well to read different things too once in a while. I seeming uh, seeming to sense that she can't win the argument. Natsuki almost visibly backs down. Her outspoken nature really does make up for her physically small stature. I'm <coughs> whatever. Natsuki. Guys, let's just stop the fighting. Everyone has their own super good taste in literature. 
so we shouldn't keep arguing over it. <sighs> I'm sure that but uh, I'm sure that I'll enjoy everyone's recommendations equally as much. After all, you guys are all smart and definitely more experienced in literature than me. I, I'm just gonna say that I wasn't trying to attract, uh, to attack you or whatever. To attract. <laughs> yes, not trying at all. It's just that there are lots of people who judge manga without even trying to read it themselves. So yeah. I guess that that's the clo uh, closest we'll get to an apology from Natsuki. And with that, the tension in the room slowly dissipates. It feels as though everyone in the room was uh, holding in their breath until now. Yuri quietly hands me the copy of the book she's holding. Well, thanks, Yuri. You're welcome. You should read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. After a brief pause, the girls move on to do their own things. Man, I seem to be the harbinger of awkwardness when it comes to uh, Natsuki and uh, Yuri. You think? You think? They're both fighting over you. <laughs> I mean, they don't realize it, but they are. And Sayori? Oh, she also wants you, but you know how Sayori is. Doesn't want you, uh, doesn't want to bring anyone else down, so she's not that outspoken about it. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off the scheduled activities for the club. At the poetry thing, I've already stilled myself for the critique I'll be probably receiving. <sighs> but it seems that we have some downtime before then. Well, looks like I won't be able to just immediately get it over with. Hmm. What are the others doing right now? So Monica having a chill conversation in the corner. Probably discussing club matters given that they're the president and vice president. As expected, Yuri's face is already buried in a book. Can't help but notice the, her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki's rummaging around in the closet. Let's get Natsuki out of the closet. <laughs> a few halves of annoyance sounded from her direction every once in a while. Ah! I hear a sigh from the closet, presumably Natsuki. It sounds like she's annoyed by something. I approach her, curious. Hey, something wrong? Freaking Monica! She moved my stuff again! I spent all this time reorganizing my collection, and she comes in and ruins it. As she complains, Natsuki carefully slides boxes and stacks of books across the shelf. Once again, they're in an orderly fashion. She turns around to face me. Do you have any? Do Do you have my manga? Uh, yeah. Here, let me get it. I quickly retrieve the book Natsuki lent me uh, yesterday and hand it to her. She examines the cover and pages, looking for any sort of damage. After finding nothing. She slides the, novels in uh, the novel into its rightful place in one of the boxes. Told you I'd take care of my manga. Yeah, yeah. Don't let it go to your head. You still need to pass the quiz before you can start the next one. You were serious? What, you think I was only joking? Here at the literature club, we take reading very seriously. Now sit down and get ready. So is it just gonna be a verbal quiz, or do we actually have like a, sheet, a quiz sheet for me to fill out? <laughs> Alright. I sit down at the desk where Natsuki sits parallel from me. Alright, first question. Which girl ends up falling down the stairs in chapter 7? Uh, I didn't really get that far. The expression that comes over Natsuki's face honestly scares me a little. <laughs> what? How do you not finish? The first volume is like the shortest one out of all of them. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was working on my poem for most of the night, so I didn't have time to read it. Natsuki's expression changes from, the, uh, from that of anger to disbelief. Your poem? Yeah, I uh, put some effort into it. Natsuki eyeballs me suspiciously before sighing. Ah, fine, I guess we can. <laughs> I guess we can read it here. But your poem better be really good. Oh, it's gonna be. At least you're gonna consider it to be very good. <laughs> yeah. I have little experience with writing in general, much less poems. So I fear that Natsuki will only get angry with me once she sees my lackluster writing abilities. But that's a problem we'll deal with later. Right now I have to finish volume 1 of Parfait Girls. Natsuki heads to the closet to re retrieve the novel once again, also she immediately starts with a question that's uh, about a topic that's a little bit later on. So... <laughs> well. Anyway, 
Anyway. She comes back, manga in hand, and points to the floor. We're gonna sit there? What? Why? Because it's a lot easier than trying to read in chairs. That doesn't really make any sense. Just do it, okay? No need to argue over it, uh, over every little thing. I wasn't arguing. I stopped, my, uh, I stopped myself short when I realized I'm probably just getting on Natsuki's nerves. If possible, I'd like to try and avoid making her angry. I, I mean, alright. I sit down next to Natsuki while she hands me the novel. I flip open the part where I left off, but Natsuki speaks up before I can begin. You only got that far? I mean, I have watched some anime last night too. Natsuki furrows her eyebrows at me. <laughs> oh god, you messed up. You're done fucked up. I quickly start reading to uh, as to avoid another scolding. Still, does this like have an overarching plot some of some sort? Of course it does, dummy. B baka. <laughs> what? You think I don't have good taste? I have standards, you know. I, I never said I didn't think you had good taste. It's just... It's just... Keep going. Please keep going. Nothing has really happened yet, so... just It's just one-off story so far. Well, that's just to help you get to know the characters. Like, the chapter where they're at the shopping mall gives you a better idea of what each girl likes... Uh, what, uh, of what each girl likes and doesn't like. There's an overarching plot, but the first volume is more like an introduction to the characters. I've read the entire series, so I do know how uh, what happens. Alright. Guess I'll take your word on it. You sure do like the series, don't you? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I can see why. It does have a lot of baking in it. It does, yeah. Coincidence? So don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> I didn't start baking just because of this manga. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you. Not. <laughs> well, I guess that at least explains Natsuki's interest in baking. She is really good at it, at it though, so it's not like it's a bad thing. We continue reading for a while before I reach the end of the novel. As I close the book, Natsuki snatches it from my hands and heads for the closet. Also, you definitely could have read it in your spare time in that case if... You have enough time in the club to read it before they start off the scheduled activities, then you ha would have had enough time to finish it at home. Let's just be honest here. So this is definitely on you. She places the novel in its rightful spot and digs around for the second volume. So did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did actually. It's a bit slow right now, but if you uh, if what you say is true, it'll start getting good in uh, the second volume. Speaking of which... Natsuki proudly picks up the second volume. Uh, let's get started. What, alright? Okay. <clears throat> okay, everyone. It's time to share poems. Perfect timing, by the way. If that isn't good timing, I don't know what is. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? We are just about to start the second one? Well, you can always read it tomorrow, can't you? <laughs> Fine. Natsuki's, Natsuki defeated, puts her manga back in the closet and retrieves her poem. I grab mine from my bag as well. By the, by the way, you did remember to write a poem, right? Don't worry, I'm not that much of a slacker. I've got it right here in my bag. I rifle through some sp uh, stray papers to pull out the page that I wrote my poem on. While I can't help but feel a little nervous, I have to admit that I'm excited now. Talking to these girls has really calmed my nerves and now I'm just eager to, st uh, to share my poem. After all... Judging by each girl's personality, I doubt that anyone would say anything nasty about it. Well, Natsuki, I don't know if she'd be uh, undulgingly harsh, though. She just seems like the type of person who enjoys uh, ribbing on her friends. <clears throat> Either way, I hope they realize that I put hard work into it. I figured that it'd only be fair to repay their warm welcome by showing effort in club activities. Now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a neat black composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. She's going to put us all to shame. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. And here we go. 
So, first things first. Let's start with Monica. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi, Code. Hope you've been enjoying your time here. Yeah, definitely. I probably sound like a broken record by now, but everyone's been really welcoming. Uh, well, broken record isn't bad when it plays something nice. I guess so. Anyway, since you know everything, feel free to bring up any questions or concerns you might have. It's my duty as president to <coughs> it's my duty as president to make sure that everything is perfect. I I'd have to say that you've been doing a good job of that already. I doubt that I'll ever have anything to complain about. Either way, <coughs> Monica, why did I choose you? Either way, I'm always open for any suggestions for the club as well. So don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. She says that, but it's gonna be a bit intimidating to try to criticize Monica of all people. I really don't think that there's going to be anything I'll need to speak up about either. One of the other girls would probably say something before I ever needed to. Natsuki definitely would. Now that that's out of the way, would you like sharing your poem with me? I mean, I don't really have a choice in the matter, do I? Uh, you shouldn't be thinking like that. Yeah, I was just joking. Kinda. It's alright, Code. I get that it's probably really awkward for you to share creative work when you're just a beginner. Especially since the rest of us have a bit more experience than you do. That's an understatement. Don't worry though, I'm a little bit embarrassed today, you know. I don't think many people sh uh, out there share their poetry on a regular basis. That isn't a sort of, but it's the sort of thing that you have to get used to pretty quickly once you get, out, get it over with. Yeah, that's true. I had my poem over with a sigh. Don't grip me too harshly. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I watch nervously as she quickly scans through my poem and new stuff because the world of Natsuki poem. It's, it's a nice poem, Code. Huh? You think? Hmm? Although I'd have to say that's a lot cuter than something I would have expected out of you. Ah, uh, is that bad? No, of course not. It's just something that I would have thought Natsuki would like, for instance. She's a good writer, so you should take that as a compliment. I see. I don't know, I guess I, uh, I guess I was in a cutesy sort of mood or something. Uh, so you have a cute side as well? Uh, uh well, I... <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I was... That's not what I was trying to say. I meant that I was thinking about more cheery stuff. Or something. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I get it. But, <clears throat> but still, have you ever read anything by Shel Silverstein? <clears throat> Silverstein? He sounds familiar. Maybe when I was a kid. My mom used to take me to the library when I was little too, too so... Alright. But he wrote a lot about children, so I wouldn't be surprised if he did. He's famous for using simple words to to conversation tones to tell all sorts of stories. His poems are a variety of different lengths and cover a range of different emotions. They could be funny, endearing, sad. You know most people think of him as a children's author and poet and many of his works express universal truths of the world. And he actually wrote some black comedy as well. So you could say that he was pretty good at subverting expectations. Hmm, interesting. So it's not skinny kind of like that then? You could say that. Just not quite the Renaissance man that Silverstein is. But you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They may seem eerie enough to read though on the surface, but they can pack a lot of meaning in very few words. I see. It's definitely a type of poem that's fun to explore. Yeah, I am sure I'll end up doing a lot of different things before I settle on my own style. And it'll still take a while before I'm completely comfortable sharing my writing. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> In fact, I feel I'd probably be more surprised if you immediately started writing with your own style. Most people go through the same process that you're going through right now. 
try new things is the best way to find the kind of style that suits you after all. Anyway, when you talk to everyone about it normally, you'll be a bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. After all, I know I am. <laughs> but the process of drive in Maria. In some way, just because someone wants you to, you should try to focus on what you want to do. Feel free to ask me for it about any time at all. <coughs> okay, yeah, we know this stuff already. You know what? I said after sharing, we're gonna skip. So we're gonna skip here. Okay, next up, Sayori. You said this was your first poem, right? Uh, yeah, why? It impressed me. Especially for your first poem. Maybe this really is the right place for you, huh? <laughs> oh, come on, it's not that good. I mean, it's not like I'm used to writing poems or anything. But thanks, I guess. Don't be so hard on yourself, Code. Everyone has to start from somewhere. You're already off to a good start. Anyway, I guess I can show you mine now. Don't expect too much, though. I'm not very good at this. Only one way to find out. Okay, yeah. There's nothing new here. I was expecting maybe some new text. But Natsuki and Yuri are definitely gonna have different text this time. We're gonna save Natsuki for last. Go with Yuri. Yeah, it's already saying that it's new. <coughs> Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to start speaking. Um, is everything okay? Oh, goodness, sorry. I know what I want to convey. But I need to find the right words. I understand, take your time. Okay, I think I know what I want to say. Do you have any prior writing experience? To be honest, not really. Is it that obvious? I don't mean to be rude, but I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere. Yuri seems to be incredibly introverted. It must take her a long time to warm up to new people. Don't worry about it. We all start somewhere, right? What were you saying? Right, um, I've just noticed a few qualities consistent with newer writers that showed up in your poem. Perhaps what stands out the most is that you've tried very hard to make the structure of this poem your own. And that's okay, but if this is the first poem you've written, it might be prudent to consider more traditional structures, couplets, sonnets, haiku and the like. If you're not confident with your writing style, it'll show in your piece. It's like Yuri's a totally different person when she gets going. She sounds incredibly confident and stands tall, speaking clearly. Again, that's not your fault. I think that once again, that once you've studied poet poetic structures and techniques a bit more, you'll be able to put together a truly wonderful composition. You know, that's that might be one style I, I don't think I've... Usually I try to stick more with basic rhyming schemes, but I could try writing more of a more of an haiku. That that would that would work, right? I don't think I've written any haikus yet. I mean, a, plus an haiku is rather a haiku is rather short, so I might have to double up to make it at least somewhat longer, <laughs> because if to my credit. My poems have gotten better, at least when it comes to length. The first few ones were just really, really short. And by now I think they're acceptable when it comes to the duration of them. A couple extra lines. Oh well. Yeah, m maybe this maybe this, time it's, maybe this time it's gonna be a haiku. Or multiple short ones, uh, multiple just chained together. We'll see, we'll see. I appreciate the feedback, Yuri. It sounds like you're well worse in this sort of thing. Would it be okay if I took a look at what you've written? Oh, goodness, of course. Please let me know what you think. I'd be thrilled to explain my process. Right, and now we're back to the usual stuff, so you know what this means. This means skip. Hang on, actually, what? Ah, that's pretty impressive when you put it that way. Oh, right, different stuff now. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I didn't expect that actually be more new stuff here. I guess this is normally where she compliments us again. Oh, I wouldn't go that far, but thanks for the compliment. 
Hopefully during your time here your understanding of poetry will grow and these things will come to you naturally. I'll do my best. Thank you for sharing with me, Yuri. Uh, of course. Okay, Natsuki, Natsuki! You, I'm not gonna skip anything for you because this is where it gets important. You are very special to me this time around, okay? Um, Earth to Natsuki? What? Hey, hey, don't make it seem like I'm spacing out. Just... Okay, let's start with the things I... with what I don't like. First of all, um... Natsuki rereads the poem again. Actually, never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Then what's the point in sharing at all? Don't... don't literary clubs, like, share constructive criticism or something? N no, it's just... Natsuki fails to co uh, come back with a follow-up. Dear God. She's obviously uncomfortable about something. But from what I've seen, it's certainly not giving out criticism. Hey, this is your first time share. Uh, this is my first time sharing my poem too. It's a bit uncomf. Uh, un it's a bit uncomfortable for all of us. Yeah, but we should still try to help each other. It's not that. I feel more comfortable if your poem was really bad. I could be like not bad, uh, not that bad. But here's what the work of a real poet looks like. But oh, I understand what she means now. She's uncomfortable because she liked my poem and doesn't know how to compliment me. I get what you mean. Natsuki looks relieved at my statement. Can I see your poem now? Ah, fine. Only because Monica's gonna make me either way. Sometimes. Sometimes folks are winners, some only lose, some are go-getters, some only cruise. Sometimes we try hard and give it our all, sometimes we give up, but what else can we do? Right, that's... I... I completely forgot, by the way. I mean, I skipped over the others. But I completely forgot that the mod actually changed the poems of the first, uh... In the first act as well. Told you you'd hate it? Actually, I like it. What? Don't just say it's good because I'm a girl. Be, be honest. What? No, that has nothing to do with you being a girl. I genuinely like the poem. Uh, r really? Yeah, it's simple, but still pretty effective. Finally, someone who gets it. People in high school think that poetry has to be so formal and vague. But they don't realize that simple writing is just as effective, if not more. The reader shouldn't have to search for the meaning, that's just stupid. Besides, the simpler the writing, the more emphasis on wordplay. Like, how I made most of the lines start with some. Yeah, I noticed that. Made the last couplet seem more powerful. Yes, that's exactly what I was going for. Well, good job then. Ha! Did I expect that from the youngest of the club, did ya? Yeah, guess not. Well then, sharing is over. Skipping time. And now they are fighting, and you know what this means? This means... Oh right, we're gonna ask someone for help. Um, we're gonna ask... Who did we ask last time? I think we asked Monica, right? Let's ask Sayori. I think we asked Monica last time, because I was thinking like, well, we asked Sayori in the original, so let's ask Monica. But let's ask Sayori this time, see if it's similar. Uh... I hate being put on the spot like this, both Yuri and Natsuki are looking at me. While the hostility isn't aimed at me, I still feel like I'm a target for the anger in their eyes. Guys, I, uh, I go nervously as a bead of sweat trickles down my neck. I'm really not the best judge for this. Uh, after all, I'm new, so I'm painfully aware of how weak my voice sounds. Neither girl looks impressed. Wow, real help you are? Natsuki. Let me guess, blah blah blah, you're being so rude. You're a broken record, Yuri. Shut up. Uh, so you're finally realizing how insolent you are. You got there in the end. Well done. <laughs> you are such a bi- <laughs> Stop! We're all stunned into silence. I've never heard Sayori uh, angry before. And even Natsuki looks taken aback. Immediately, the anger on Sayori's face is replaced by a flood of tears. The anger giving way to sadness. Guys, enough of this. Please. You're tearing apart this club. Please don't do this. I love the club so much. 
that you guys are both my friends. I hate it when people find it's horrible. This place means so much to me. I know it means a lot to you guys as well. So please, can we stop fighting over whose style is better? Doesn't even matter. You're both unique and that's what counts. There, did I did I do a good? Did I do a bad? Did I manage to actually convey sadness? You know how far I actually went right now? I actually start I actually started fake crying for this right now. <laughs> you know when you actually try very hard to act sad and you actually start crying because of it. <laughs> because of the way you're acting. <sighs> I know you're not seeing. I know you're not seeing this. It, I on. It's. It was only a, a very little bit. But my eyes definitely did get wet from the acting right there. So did I do a good? Did I? <laughs> or was it? Or did that sound completely horrible? You and Natsuki both look incredibly ashamed of themselves. I guess neither of them expected that their argument would hurt Sayori so much. That once raging fire has been snuffed out, replaced by smoldering embers. I really like your style, Natsuki. Yuri, it's so nice to sit down and read a poem that springs to life. And I know the others do as well. Uh, the problem is by acting this way, I kind of slipped a little bit away from my classic Natsuki voice. I hope it wasn't too bad. Monica and I nod in earnest, putting a smile on Natsuki's face. And Yuri, I'm amazed how complex and deep your poems are. They're really in-depth. But there's no need to argue over which style is better. You can really you can't really compare them anyway. It depends on what mood you're in. She's right, guys. Sometimes you're just in the mood for something simple. Sometimes you might want something a bit more complex. It's like music or movies. People are like a variety of things. You can't really say that comedy as a genre is better than action, can you? Both types appeal to different. Th uh, both types appeal to different things. You wouldn't watch an action movie for the laughs, would you? I took over. T uh, I look over to Sayori and give her a reassuring smile. She returns with a watery smile of her own, rubbing her tears away. You said it, Code. She turns to face Yuri Natsuki once more. Now, you both said some stuff that was pretty mean. I, I know neither of you meant it. Neither of you are narrow-minded. Although it would be nice if you could like each other's stuff a bit more. So, could you try doing that a little? Please, for me, for the club? I can't help but laugh as she puts on puppy dog eyes. I don't think she realizes the right time to use them. Sure, whatever, I'll try. Yuri takes a deep breath, finally lifting her eyes off the floor. You're right, Sayori. I'll also make more of an effort. And Natsuki? What? Natsuki still looks quite defi uh, defiant, as though expecting another insult from Yuri. I apologize for what I said. Your style has its own merits. Natsuki blinks as though uh, slapped in the face. Huh? <laughs> like that? <laughs> she clearly wasn't expecting an apology. It's fine, don't worry about it. Your style is... She diverts her eyes down downward for a moment. I guess what I'm trying to say is, you write pretty well. I shouldn't have said that stuff. Neither. There's an awkward silence. That's much better, guys. Thank you both for your different. Uh, thank you for putting your differences aside. We all really appreciate it. I'll go make some tea. She rushes off as Natsuki wanders off to the closet. I glance over at Monica, she hasn't said a word throughout the whole argument, which surprised me. I should have been the one who said all of that. Why didn't you then? I wince as the words leave my mouth. That sounded more accusatory than I would have liked. Well, I know I'm the leader and I run this club, but I'm not the greatest of people. I frown. She isn't great with people, how can she run a club? She must have caught the confusion on my face as she hastens to explain. So yeah, let me rephrase that. I'm fine with people. It's just the drama that I can't really <coughs> that I can't really deal with. Well, that's why you have Sayori, right? 
she's an excellent vice president, able to deal with conflict much better than I can, which is pretty embarrassing, at least for me. That should have been my duty to deal with, not hers. I don't blame you, seriously. It was pretty tough to get involved. I could barely speak up. True, but that's exactly the sort of thing that pre a president should be able to deal with. Nah, come on, Monica. Don't see it like that. You and Sayori just have different strengths, that's all. I always thought of her as a little ditzy sometimes, but she definitely has a knack for social situations. Definitely. I'm very glad to have her as my vice president. Well, the both of you do really uh, do a really good job running this place. I know that's a bit of an early assessment, but you know, first impressions and all. She smiled sweetly at me, causing my stomach to nod. You too kindly. I'm glad that Sayori brought you along to the club. You, I really hope you stick around. Don't worry, I will. Monica seems like such a genuine person, and she makes a great president regardless of what she might think. Hopefully I'll be able to properly get to know her during the school during the school year. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You're okay, everyone doesn't really face me right now. So, <clears throat> what did I get from Natsuki? Oh, the the ma the manga, right. You got that one from Natsuki, didn't you? What? Oh, right, she did say that yesterday. So you might be uh, known as a bit of an airhead, but sometimes she can really notice things that others don't. I wonder what's it really like inside her head. It's a dark place in there. A very dark place in there. Ah, you haven't changed at all, Code. You always know how to make me laugh. Also, let me say this right now. Today's stream, I don't know how long it's gonna be. I honestly don't. I don't think it's gonna be as long. Frankly, I wanted to finish up the game, but I didn't realize we would be done within less than an hour. So that's why we are actually now making our way through Act 1 again. But what I do want to say is that... I don't know. I'm not in the greatest mood for streaming right now. I feel a little bit... a little bit tired. Also, um, my jaw hurts. So, I'm definitely a bit uncomfortable right now. I know, I know, when your jaw hurts, it's probably not the best idea to read a visual novel out loud. For hours, multiple, but oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. I decided I wanted to stream today despite all of that, just because I really wanted to get to the end of the game. So that's what I have to deal with now. But yeah, my apologies if this stream ends up being... One of the shorter ones again. Actually, scratch that, because for a while I said that my streams would be about maybe two hours long, and I definitely plan to do more than two hours. I think we, m but I think I'm not gonna make do too much more. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stop at about the three hour mark or somewhere along those lines. All right then. Alright then, I blush slightly. I have never really known how to react to that compliment, especially when it comes to someone from the opposite sex. Um, yeah, now we're back into it. It was basically just talking about the manga, so... Poems. Fireflies? Damn it! Poof. Bubbles. Pout. Parfait. Pink. Jumpy. Uh, cute. Mm, puppy. Skirt. Doki doki. Uh, dazzle. Damn it. <laughs> Vanilla. Uh, kawaii. Swimsuit. Fluffy. Sticky. Boop. Uh, hop. Anime. 
When it comes to the choice between anime and manga, I'm gonna pick anime. You can't tell me what to do. Because as I said, I'm more of the anim of an anime guy. <laughs> Just a few days ago, I never would have imagined. I never would have thought that I'd look forward to an extracurricular so much. Right, so again, we're not gonna skip because we're gonna get into different activities and we're gonna go through the uh, through the lead up pretty much as well. But here I am, back for another club meeting and anticipating new antics from everybody. The usual scene awaits me as I step into the club room. Hi Code! Hey Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. Is that so? Well, it's nice to see you're so cheery. Anyway, what's new? Oh, I've got some exciting news! Huh, what's up? Did you know that the student uh, store sells a brand new sto strawberry milk now? I saw it when I passed, on, passed it on my way here. Ah, I should have known better than to expect any actual news from Sayori. Ha, huh. I don't think I've tried that yet. I don't know, strawberry milk is usually too sweet for me. What? But it goes great with melon bread. Sayori, you could eat a packet of raw sugar and you'd still say it's not sweet enough. Hey, that's an exaggeration. Seriously though, it really does go well with bread. The milk is sweet, but it still has that uniqueness, that uh, unique tart strawberry flavor that's eased by the richness of the milk. And when you pair that with fresh bread, the sweetness is spread out even more, so that it's, uh, it's just the right amount of flavor. Wow, when did you become Gordon Ramsay? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> I am a food expert, so you should trust me on this. I mean, given how many snacks you eat every day, I don't doubt that you know your food well. I'm gonna take that as a compliment, you meanie. So, I'm a meanie for giving her a compliment. Anyway, aren't you hungry now? Talking about food always makes me hungry. Now that you mention it, maybe a little. Great, let's go to the student store and buy some snacks together then. And now I see what she's playing at. I raise an eyebrow and Sayori notices. Hmm? <laughs> Um, God, why are you looking at me like that? Well, Sayori, I have a nagging suspicion that you're only trying to convince me to come because you don't have any money. And you just want me to buy you a snack. What? I would never do that. Oh, really? Then let's see your purse. Huh? Your purse. Let's see it. <laughs> um. Sayori laughs awkwardly as she pulls out her purse. She opens, uh... She opens it and dumps its contents onto the desk. Two small coins fall out. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Or should I say, tsk, tsk, tsk. <coughs> this little ruse might have actually worked had Sayori not pulled it on me numerous times when we were younger. The amount of times she managed to trick me into buying her another ice cream. I guess some things never change. Nice try, Sayori. No fair, how did you know? <laughs> Now wouldn't you like to know? Let's just call it a, let's just call it intuition. In response, she sticks out her tongue at me. Typical. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Huh? I didn't notice that she was eavesdropping. Looking over in her direction, I catch her peeking at the uh, at the top of uh, over the top of a book. Ah, uh, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell her to let me borrow some money. Oh, that's. That's none of my business, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. It's shameful to manipulate people into doing or buying things for you. Wow, isn't that a little harsh? I'm only messing around for Sayori after all. Ah, uh, did I just... I didn't mean that. That came out much harsher than I intended. Sorry, I just... well... Uh, Yuri blushes in embarrassment, looking away from us while playing with a strand of her hair. I apologize for how I've been acting lately. It looks like she still uh, might be a bit ashamed of how she acted yesterday. <laughs> you know, it's okay to be honest sometimes. You shouldn't always keep things that bother you to yourself. That's... there's no way you could think that after... You're right, though. I shouldn't trick people into buying me things. Funny how your ten-year-old self didn't see it that way. Yuri lets out a small laugh, covering her mouth with her hand. Even the way she laughs is so shy and proper. Ah, uh, is this mischievous behavior something Sayori used to display as a child then? Yeah. Although back then I fell for it time and time again. 
You wouldn't believe how many, how much candies I already managed to carve me out of. Ah, don't make me out to be so sneaky, Code. I thought those candies were so good. Well, I'm surprised, Sayori, coming from you. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> What's going on here? Um, nothing much, so it was just up to some mischief. Oh? Yeah, she tried to trick me into buying her a snack. Hey, that's not true! Monica smiles wryly and turns to me. I'm... I'm assuming this isn't the first time. Well, you'd be right. We all share a little chocolate like that after everyone except Sayori does. Also, can you notice how... <laughs> he couldn't notice that before because I didn't... Uh, my expressions were pretty stern and didn't move much. But since my uh, you can, I'm actually much more expressive now, you can see how I often close my eyes a bit uh, whenever I'm talking as Monica. I don't know why. It's just a habit. <laughs> I don't know if th why that helps me get into a character a bit better, but apparently it does. Hey, you guys are really mean. Okay, okay, we're sorry. But you did bring this upon yourself. Yeah, I know. But in my defense, I was real. I am really hungry. Uh, well. Natsuki chimes in. If you're really that hungry, you can have this if you want. She offers up a small, giant cookie wrapped in plastic, so Yuri immediately snatches it out of her hands. Thank you, thank you, thank you! So Yuri harks the cookie. <sighs> Ugh. Jeez, just eat it. So he rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes one big bite. So good! Mm. So he suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue! Ha! You're going through a lot over just one cookie? Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Oh, yours, look re yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. So I'm really glad that you shared this one with me. <laughs> so he goes, gets out of her seat, goes behind Natsuki and then wraps her arms around her. Jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off her. Um. So he suddenly leans forward and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. H hey? Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri, Monica, and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori to quit taking my stuff? Sayori, you know you should do something like that without permission. Monica scolds Sayori. I know, I know. I'm sorry, Natsuki. But it was so good. Hey. Everyone but Natsuki chuckles. These things happen. Uh, do things happen a lot, Monica? Uh, a little bit too much, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. It's. Don't worry, it's all in good fun. Good fun is teasing each other from time to time, not stealing food. Well, calm down, it's no big deal. Ha! <laughs> Natsuki pouts in her seat. Everyone calms down and quickly returns to their normal activities. Sayori has already managed to finish the entire cookie. Meanwhile, Natsuki gets up and heads for the closet and Yuri is already lost in her book. So, you ready? Huh? Oh, right. I wasn't expecting Natsuki to want to uh, start reading so quickly. Not that I wasn't looking forward to it. Well, let's get going. Alright, I'll follow you. Natsuki excitedly walks over to the closet. I'll trail be I trail behind. This is the This is the chair event, isn't it? Where she's gonna call me a pervert. You're gonna like this volume code? Are that overarching plot you've been wanting finally? Monica! What, is something wrong? I glance inside the closet and immediately notice the uh, problem. All of Natsuki's boxes are sitting on the top shelf. Did you move all my stuff again? Uh, don't worry about, uh, about that. I just got mad because of how much room your stuff was taking up, so I moved it around. I was going to try to put that back, but I didn't have enough time this, mo this morning. Sorry. That's great! Natsuki attempts to reach uh, the top shelf with little success. She moves around some of the school supplies on the lower shelves to make room. 
There, that's plenty of room. And moving these back down, I notice a collapsible stool hanging from the side of the closet wall. Uh, here is this. I take the stool off the wall and hand it to Natsuki, who quickly props it up and pops on. The stool is just barely high enough to allow Natsuki to retrieve one of the one of the boxes. She uses her fingertips to inch the box toward the edge of the shelf. Once she gets a good grip on it, she quickly hops off the stool. See? Easy. Natsuki holds the box up triumphantly before placing it on the lower shelves. Do you want me to get the rest of them? I can handle it myself. I just need something taller. Natsuki pokes her head out of the closet and scans the room. All the chairs are attached to the desk so it'd be impossible to get uh, them in the closet. Aha! She heads for the teacher's desk and retrieves the computer chair sitting behind it. I watch as she wheels it into the closet and proudly hops on. I told you I didn't need your help. I'm perfectly capable of doing this on my own. Bah. Since the computer chair is on wheels, it swivels from side to side as Natsuki stands on it. S steady, steady. Natsuki clearly doesn't want any help, so I just idle in the doorway of the closet and watch. She shakily grabs the boxes and places them on the lower shelves. Ah, there it is! Natsuki puts the parfait girls box out of the shelf. She then opens the box and digs around in it with She then opens the box and digs around with uh, in it with one while holding the box with the other with one hand probably presumably. Whoa! Suddenly the chair starts to give out under Natsuki's feet. Yeah. I rush over to Natsuki placing my hands on the back of the chair and uh propping my foot under one of the wheels. Luckily I managed to steady the chair and prevent Natsuki from falling off. Oh, so this is definitely different. Because normally, uh, she insults you saying, Hey, how are you, why are you just sitting there? Why are you not helping me? And this time we decide to help her on our own. The manga, on the other hand... Ah, the box! I feel books shower down on my head and my back. The hardcovers leaving, hard leaving a painful bruise. Natsuki quickly jumps off the chair. Oh, she doesn't fall on top of me. And we don't get a look up her skirt, almost. So she's not gonna call me a pervert this time? I'm sad. Why? I was looking forward to that. But now she's not gonna call me a pervert. <laughs> okay. Never mind that. <laughs> Good. Look what you did, idiot. What did, what I did? You made me drop the books everywhere? You would have fallen off the chair if I didn't save you. I would have been fine. Natsuki turns back to the closet as if reflecting on the events that just occurred. When she turns back, she lowers her head. Okay, maybe you did help me from falling. So, thanks. You're welcome. Now we should probably clean this mess up. We both get on our knees and begin cleaning up the spilled manga novels. Luckily, none of them got damaged in the fall. Okay, this this is definitely already going much better than in the original, where there was a huge di diagonal uh, crease in one of them. So, happiness, happiness noise. <laughs> happiness noises are being made here. There are only around 15 or so books, so we finish fairly quickly. Once everything is back on the, uh, in the box, Natsuki puts the box back on the shelf, but not before I snack the second volume. So wanna read? I hold the book up. The expression on Natsuki, uh, Natsuki makes is priceless. And I can't help but smile. All in all, I'm pretty satisfied with this manga. Natsuki was right. It gets really good in the second volume. I was right, wasn't I? Yep, that was pretty good. Told you so. <laughs> okay, everyone. It's time to share poems again. I sigh. Guess we'll read some more later. You sound like you're excited. <laughs> I am. Knatsky a wave before heading back to my seat and grabbing my poem. You know what time it is? Let's get Monica out of the way first. So I don't have to deal with her voice anymore. <clears throat> After, you know, we got her out of the way. Hi again, Cole. I'm trusting the club's been doing you well so far. 
Same answer as yesterday. Ah, uh, that's nice to feel. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. Just alright, huh? No, I guess I should say that. It's revolutionized my world and brought color into my previously lifeless, lifeless uh, life. Well, I say that, but the club, if not the poetry, really has made my days more interesting. Okay, okay. Can it with the sarcasm, mister? At least you're not hating it, though, right? Nah, it's been an interesting experience, at least. Gives me a new hobby, hobby to do. I'm happy that you're applying yourself, at least. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright. I can see that you put in some good effort here. Wrote it in the same style as yesterday's, huh? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> no need to look so nervous, it was, I was just saying. Natsuki must have rubbed off on you. I mean, it's only natural that someone's writing style would rub off on me, given how I've been spending my time with all of you more experienced writers. Mm, that does make sense. But I wouldn't want you to feel forced to imitate someone with else's style just to pander to us, hey, either. So just write however you want. Anyway, Natsuki's popes are cute because they tend to put a lot of emphasis on meter, rhyme scheme, and simple straightforward words. These all contribute to giving her poetry a more sing-song quality. I'd say that her poems become almost musical with their inherent beats. Of course, the words she uses are usually just plain cute as well. It's all just to say that your poetry has the same qualities. <laughs> huh, yeah, I guess I do do the, some of that stuff. I just like playing around with the syllables and trying to get my poems to flow. <laughs> That's definitely one of the main differences between poetry and po uh, prose. Also, I have to admit, most of the poems I have written do adhere to mainly be about, you know, rhyme scheme and actually getting a good flow out of it. So... <laughs> it seems like I was... Uh, more compatible with Natsuki all along. That and the fact that she, you know, is more of the manga slash anime slash games type. So, yeah, I think I think this is gonna be a lo a pretty interesting journey. In poetry, you're able to change up how you want to, how you want words to be said and even perceived. And speaking of flow. Have you ever noticed that that is kind of like another form of poetry? I never thought about it that way. But yeah, I guess song lyrics are just another form of poetry. Especially rap, since they need to focus on wordplay and fitting lines to rhythm. Hmm. I actually used to hate rap music. Well, I don't think that's too uncommon a sentiment. Yeah. Fortunately, some of my friends got me into it and it helped me keep an open mind. Personally speaking, I'm not a big fan of rap. There are some uh, some good ones I've heard, but overall the genre is not too interesting to me. I do enjoy it whenever I hear uh, a good rap come up, but I usually stick to different music genres. <clears throat> Might sound kind of silly, but I wish I had a rapper in the literature club. Uh, I just think it would be really interesting to see what they would come up with. Also, doesn't she say this in like the? Isn't, isn't that one of the lines she can say when it's just the two of you in the club room, when she deleted everyone else? She also talks about that stuff there, right? If I remember correctly, that is. Ha! <laughs> if I find any rappers, I'll let you know. But in the meantime. You wanna show me your poem now? I think it's about time we let your poem shine. Sure thing, Cloud. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Float there, I think this is the same. 
for a moment. You're on Pascal Tour, streaming with no mouth, stretching. Yeah, I, I think we had this before. Just had to check it out, just in case it was something new, but I don't think it's new. Well, new in the mod, but not new as in, because we hang out with Natsuki, she's giving me a different poem. Um, right. Nothing new other than that, so let's just get through it. Next up, Sayori. <laughs> so Sayori didn't have anything new to say, so I think I'm just gonna skip. Yeah, she didn't have anything new to say, figured as much. Yuri, however, is gonna have different stuff to say this time. And Natsuki will too. Okay. <clears throat> um. I'm sorry if I've offended you. Huh? I said that Natsuki's writing style wasn't the best, but it seems that you prefer that style to mine. So in a way, I was saying that your writing style is bad as well. Yuri, that's a bit of a leap. I hope you can forgive me. Yuri, it's okay for you to have an opinion that doesn't make you evil. I should have known this would happen. If I try to prepare my words, I just sound awkward and weird. But if I just try to speak my mind, I come off as unfiltered and people dislike me anyway. So please don't force yourself to be around me. I know this with Monica once, but it's clear that you'd be happy if you spent more time around the others. Yuri, please. You don't have to pity me, it's okay. Besides, I have my books with me. They'll never abandon me or leave me alone. They're all I've ever needed anyway. <sighs> you know, I know I'm on the Natsuki route, but hearing all that after we've spent so much time with Yuri and worked so hard to get the happy ending. And still kind of... Ah, uh, oh no. Yuri shows me a... Uh, Plaintive smile before turning around and heading back to her own desk. <laughs> I really didn't mean to upset her, but no matter what I say, she won't listen to me. She really seems uh, to think that I hate her, although that could, uh, couldn't be further from the truth. I sigh to myself. All I can do is accept that that's how she is. If she actually wants to be alone, I'll have to respect that request and leave her be. And we don't get her poem. I so last time we didn't get Natsuki's poem then, so I think, I think at least. So let's get her a poem and see what she has to say here. Natsuki reads my poem. By now she's had to have read it at least twice. Ah. Uh, is everything alright? Huh? Oh, yeah? Um, Natsuki looks down at my poem. It's good, okay? Really good. There, I said it. Then what's the problem? This wasn't how this was supposed to go? I was supposed to be the pro? He was supposed to write like me? Instead, you just... Natsuki's voice trails off. Natsuki, I, I do write like you. <laughs> huh? My style is heavily influenced by yours. Did you notice that? Didn't you notice that before? Um, Natsuki reads my poem once more. Her face turns completely red as she reads, and once she finishes, she looks down at the floor. Natsuki, I don't think you give yourself enough credit. <laughs> Not only is your poetry really good... But you also fight against the trend of normal poetry. And you fight hard. That alone is pretty impressive. Don't sell yourself short, you are the pro. I'm just trying to live up to your skill level. Natsuki takes a moment to digest what I just said. R really? Really. Uh, thanks? No problem. Now let's see your poem. Yeah, sure. I don't get it. <laughs> Alright. I don't get why people will hate on good rhymes. They act like it's dumb and a waste of their time. I don't diss their free verse or deep subject types. Be dark all you want, just keep in your gripes. Or sh oh, sure you can tell me if you have a problem. Just keep it, const just keep it constructive and things will be awesome. I'd like you to know that our readers will differ. There's no best style, you smug old glue sniffer. Oh, differ, I should have read it. I, I mean, I said it as differ because I wasn't sure how I... 
which way I'm supposed to, supposed to pronounce it, considering what the other rhyme was. Anyway, <laughs> and now I interrupted it. You know what? Just do over, do over. I don't get it. I don't get why people will hate on good rhymes. They act like it's dumb and a waste of their time. I don't do their free verse or deep subject types. Be dark all you want, just keep in your gripes. Or sure you can tell me if you have a problem, just keep it constructive and things will be awesome. I'd like you to know that our readers will differ. There's no best style, you smug old glue sniffer. My poems may be simple and often straightforward, but charm can be found in such whimsy and order. Not all poems can be as complex as you'd like. If you think otherwise, you can go on a hike. <laughs> what about kids or the elderly too? Some read for fun, I guess unlike you. Let us just go and enjoy what is written. We won't like it all, that much is a given. But give things a chance, you might find something nice. Just open your mind and that will suffice. That's definitely about the argument you had with Yuri, isn't it? <laughs> But yeah, I completely agree with her. Not everyone... Don't hate on others just because it's different. Not everyone will like the same things. It's a pretty straightforward message and I think everyone can agree with it pretty much. So, what do you think? Um, I mean, it's well written at least. I'm not sure how I should confront Natsuki about this. But to say that she still holds a grudge from yesterday would be an understatement, yeah? I, I said so, that it was pretty much about their fight. <laughs> Uh, no need to insult Yuri that much, you know. God forbid Yuri sees this poem. <laughs> well, that's a given. But yeah, you could say that I was inspired. It really felt good to pound out these lines. Poetry is an amazing emotional outlet, you know. Uh huh. Anyway, I can't wait to show Yuri this poem. <laughs> yeah, that'll end well. Wait, hold on. What? Natsuki, do you really think that showing her this poem is a good idea? You're really going at her throat with this. Don't you think that you should work on your issues with her? Yeah, well she... <laughs> yeah, well she never tries to th see things my way. So why should I? I think that that's the wrong way to go about this. Relationships are a two-way street. Both people have to work to make things right. Why don't you try being the bigger person and just talk to her first? But I already know that she's not going to try. She's just always so preoccupied with looking complicated and smart. It's clear to me that she doesn't care if anyone can understand her. Including me. You can't understand her if you don't even try. She might speak using a more complex vocabulary and she may have mannerisms that seem strange to you. But from what I've seen of the both of you, she's more similar to you than you might think. Eh? That's... Aren't you judging a book by its cover right now? Eh! <laughs> well, whatever! You can't hold this grudge forever, you know. At least think of Monica and Sayori. Fine, I want you to hear my poem. Are you happy? Aw. Oh. oh, my jaw. Ugh. Hold on with me for a little while longer, please. Alright. I can do this. My jaw won't kill me. It's just really uncomfortable right now. Uh, it's, I won't be happy until you try to talk to her. She's not going to bite... Uh, she's not going to bite Natsuki. <laughs> Alright, I get it. I'll try to talk to her sometime. Thanks. You're gonna do the club proud. Shut, shut it. But, you know, I'm glad that we share a similar writing style at least. It's cool to talk to someone who, well, gets me. I've been enjoying sharing with you. So, consider yourself lucky. <laughs> Alright, I will. I'll be looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> Same here. And a skip? Actually, forget that. Not, not a skip. And considering Natsuki's poem for today, it's no wonder that she doesn't want to share with Yuri. Judging by Monica and Sayori's anxious expressions, they seem to be thinking along the same lines as I am. I can practically see Natsuki sweating pinballs. <laughs> Meanwhile, Yuri appears to be blissfully unaware of the situation. 
I had convinced Natsuki to reconcile with Yuri, but if she sees Natsuki's poem, oh, it's all over. So, Natsuki, if I may. Ah. Uh, how about we do this tomorrow instead? I'm not uh, feeling well. It's my time of the month. Oh. You know, she made that excuse last time. But I didn't think that she actually had a reason to bring up such a drastic excuse to avoid sharing poems. Actually, I didn't. I don't think I even. Uh, I don't think they even brought up that they weren't gonna share poems. But. Huh. You know that makes a little bit more sense now why she brings out that <laughs> such a drastic excuse. I can practically see Monica internally face bombing. As you must have forgotten that the club isn't all girls anymore. But yeah, we've seen this. This much we've seen. Now they try to get along. She faces Natsuki. I mean, you two bonded over manga, right? He asked you for recommendations, and from what I could gather, you both share a common interest. Hey, it's not like we bonded or anything. <laughs> yeah, it's not like that. <laughs> it was just nice to find someone else who likes manga, that's all. She should said, look at Yuri. Uh, of course. How silly of me to forget. Anyway. Maybe some of these new members might also be manga enthusiasts. Who knows? Surely you'd like to be able to share your passion with other people, right? Natsuki shrugs half-heartedly. I suppose that'd be cool, yeah? Monica beams. See? It's exactly my mentality. Wanting to share the things you like with new people. Yeah, yeah, I, I know that. It's just, there are really no other ideas. The memorable poetry performances are a pretty big part of this club. We want to show people our meetings are what our meetings are really like. If we just give up our posters or shower them with poems and writing only, it would really be a fair reflection. Seeing that there's no real way she's going to win this, Natsuki sits back and grumbles something under her breath. Also, yeah, the, the festival, right. <laughs> that went well. <laughs> so, what do you think, guys? I think I'm gonna skip this. I would walk home with Natsuki. Walking home with Natsuki, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, I think I would be afraid of what she might do to me if I turned her down. Isn't she so cute and fun to be around? I... I guess so, yeah. Aha, <laughs> you admitted it! But that still has nothing to do with what I said. Besides, what's the point of speculating about something that's never going to happen? I don't know. I guess I just like to think about how different things could be. Why though? Even if I did walk home with her, it's not like you'd be replaced or anything. We'd still be friends, right? I... Sorry, looks distant. I guess... The conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. Why would she ask a question like that? I don't know. Does walking home with me really mean that much to her? Yes. If it does, then I guess I shouldn't be the, uh, th then I guess I shouldn't take it away from her. So and I part ways without saying another word. Reach my house and open the door. Oh, there's still more. Well, I thought we would jump immediately into poems, but now it's poem time. So you know what? What time it is? It's Natsuki time again. Sticky. Papa. Cheeks. Kitty. Boop. Games. Pout. Okay, now it's getting a little bit more. <clears throat> Sing? Damn it. I don't know if there was a word that she would have liked. <clears throat> Kiss? Yes. Kiss. Um, doki doki. Swimsuit. Uh, candy. Poof. 
Hop. Pink. Uh, nibble. Kawaii. Lollipop. Uh, sugar. Whistle. Hey. Okay. I almost got a perfect run. Just missed one of them. Um, right, we're in the lead up to another story portion, so again, let's see. Oh man, I'm the last one here. Oh, don't worry about it, everyone's late from time to time. Besides, you've been working hard, so I think you deserve some slack. I guess so. I usually, I'm usually really punctual, but I lost track of time today. What made you forget about the time? It's a funny story, actually. I just decided to learn how to play the piano, so I was practicing just now. That's probably why I didn't notice the school bell going off. You can play the piano? That's quite impressive. I've always wanted to play an instrument myself. It's not as cool as you. <coughs> it's not as cool as you make it out to be. I've only been playing for a little while, so I've still got a ways to go before I'm any good. You should pick up an instrument too, Yuri. I could definitely see you playing the violin. Yeah, that pretty much suits you, Yuri perfectly. Ah, the violin is a beautiful instrument. I'm partial to the sound of the flute as well. Hmm? Flutes can be calm and elegant, just like you. Um, thank you. How, uh, how's it like to play the piano? It's really an enjoyable instrument to play. Not to mention, I really love how it sounds. The melody can sound gentle and soothing, the mix powerful and full of force. The piano is an instrument that I'm familiar with too. Well, at least somewhat. My father had signed me up for a piano lesson when I was younger. I'd been playing it since high school and wanted to pass his pa uh, he, he He's been playing it since high school and wanted to pass his passion down to me, but I never really got into it. Considering that, you'd think that I would hate the piano, but for some reason I find myself internally cheering on Monica. Maybe because it reminds me of my father in a way. Monica, you certainly are a talented individual. First starting your own club from the ground up and now picking up piano on a whim. I doubt I'd be able to do that. Eh, don't, don't say that. Anyone can do amazing things as long as they have a passion for it. Which is why I think we're all going to do amazing at the festival. I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be awesome. Natsuki, you were just protesting the festival yesterday. Well, obviously, I meant everything besides our part of the festival. I still don't like the idea of performing. Monica rolls her eyes. I don't want to start this whole debate over again either. But I am looking forward to everything else. It's a whole day of school where you can just run around and eat till you burst. I can see the eagerness in Natsuki's eyes. She must really like food. Kinda reminds me of a certain someone. Speaking of which, where's Sayori? Oh, there you are. Sayori's sitting in a desk at the back of the room, staring out the window. I walk over to her. As I do, I hear the girls continue to converse behind me. <laughs> Something about squid. Hey, Sayori! I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? She's facing out again. Eh. Eh, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Are you okay? He forces a smile, but it's not very convincing. Of course I am, silly. Why wouldn't I be? I don't know. You just seem a bit off today. Maybe I'm wrong, but my mind wanders back to what she asked me as we were walking home together. You worry too much, Code. I'm fine. Seriously. She shows me another big smile. Much bigger and more genuine. While it seems much more Sayori like there's still something inside me that feels like something's up. So you must have noticed as she hastens to explain. To tell you the truth, I just didn't get much sleep last night. I'm really tired, so sorry if I'm a little cranky. <laughs> Seriously though, I'm probably not much fun to hang out with right now. So why don't you spend time with the others? I might try and have a little nap. Um, sure, okay, just uh, know that if anything's bothering you, you can talk to me, okay? I'd hate to see you suffering in silence. She nods. <laughs> suffering might be a little strong of a word. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you know what I mean. So he nods again, then shoos me away. As I wander off to talk to Monica, that feeling of uneasiness isn't going away. Maybe that's just how Sayori is these days. 
I mean, it's been a good few years since we've properly hung out together. Maybe she's changed. Deep down, I know that isn't the reason. Still, maybe Monica knows more than I do. After all, she's the president, right? I timidly approach her. She's shuffling through some papers at her desk. Cal- Oh, <clears throat> sorry. You're not Sayori. <laughs> sorry, you're not Sayori. Also a nice line. Cal, what's up? I decide to jump, jump straight into it. There's no point in beating around the bush. Hey, so, um... Have you noticed anything wrong with Sayori recently? Wrong? What do you mean? I don't know. She j It's just, she seems a little bit downcast today. So do you have any ideas why she might be feeling off? Or like, have you seen her acting this way before? Hmm? No, I can't say I've ever seen her act like this before. Yeah, she said she wasn't feeling, uh, she was f just feeling tired because she didn't get much sleep. But to be honest, I'm not buying it. She's normally upbeat and cheerful. Her behavior has been so uncharacteristic. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Wait, didn't she say she was going to try and nap? Maybe there is something on her mind. My question, though, is why are you asking me, Claude? You've clearly known her a lot longer than I have. Yeah, well, you've spent more time with her recently than I have with the club and all. I guess so. But I've never seen her dismiss me. Maybe she didn't exactly dismiss me, but it feels like she just wanted to get uh, wanted me gone. So yeah, I'm just concerned for her, you know. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything. That's all. No, oh, no. I appreciate you coming up to me. It's really sweet how concerned you are for her. After all, it's important to me too. I mean, she's also I, I'm also friends with her, and I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Huh? Are you sure that's a good idea? She seems like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? You know you've known Sayori for longer than I have, so perhaps you're right. Still, it's worth a try. I also have to be able to talk to... I also have to talk to her about what she wants to do for the festival anyway. Oh, alright, fair enough. Uh, I just hope she's more receptive to you than she is, was with me. Monica pauses, studying my uh, worried facial expression. The warmth on her, of her face reflects in my in her eyes. You really care about her, don't you? From what I can gather, you've been friends for a while. Yeah, we've been childhood friends for a, as long as I can remember. Although before I joined the club, we had been drifting a lot. I think that she's been like this before without me around to help her. <laughs> hey, I know it's hard, but it's never easy seeing your friends suffer. For what it's worth, she's lucky to have someone so thoughtful looking out for her. Don't blame yourself too for it. You can't always be there for everyone. I know she's right, but the feelings uh, of guilt still resides. Yeah, I guess. Hey, she's been a lot happier since you joined the club, you know. Huh, really? Yep, she's told me she was kind of surprised at first as she didn't expect me to want to join. But once she got over that, she enjoyed having you around. Anyway, I know it's hard seeing her like this, so I'll talk to her and see what I can do, okay? She'll be fine, don't you worry. I sure hope so. Let's just hope you're right, Monica. Thank you for everything, by the way. You've been a big help. Uh -huh. You're too kind, Code. Nothing to thank me for. She stands up from her desk and walks across the room where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet, I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica to talk to her. Hey, you! Huh? I look up uh, to see Natsuki standing next to me. Well, don't just sit there. We don't have much time today. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to worry you. It's not like I'm worried or anything. It's just... Natsuki glances at her hands. She's holding the third volume. Oh, right, that. I am sorry, something just came up recently. Uh, we can get started now if you'd like. Jeez. If something's bothering you, you can just tell me to go away, you know? A assuming you didn't want to talk about it. She mumbles that last part, so I might have... So I might... She mumbles that last part, so I might have heard it. Nah, it's okay. It's not really that big of a deal. I'm just a bit concerned about Sayori's all. Sayori? 
Yeah, she seems distant today. I don't know, she says she's just tired, but there's something in the back of my mind telling me that it's more than that. <laughs> Natsuki takes a moment to reflect on what I just said. I think you're just being paranoid, Code. If this... If she doesn't want to tell you uh, she's feeling down, that's probably nothing really important. She's your best friend, so I think she'd come to you first if anything happened. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Guess you... Guess you get that way... Guess you get that way when you've known someone as long as I've known Sayori. You've been friends for a while, right? Yep, about as long as I can remember. You must really care about her? The expression on Natsuki's face is almost a bit jealous. Well, as my best friend, yeah. I can see where this conversation is going and try to change subjects. Anyway, as you said, we don't have much time. Wanna get started? I yeah, sure. And we're back in it. Time to share poems. As always, Monica first, because I don't like doing her voice. <clears throat> Hi, Cole. I approach Monica wanting to talk about Sayori for some more. But she takes control. Oh, right. No, wait, she still talks about what I wrote, right. But she takes control and jumps uh, before I can say anything. This might come off as a surprise, but we have a festival coming up soon. Oh wow, I never would have guessed. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a pe bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Despite any praise the girls might have given me, I really doubt that my poetry is up to snuff. I'm sure that there's uh, not just a little bias during the poetry discussions. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. You wouldn't want to let down the club, right? She says it with a teasing tone, but a chill runs down my spine when I think about the implications of disappointing everyone. Who knows what Monica would do to me if I betrayed her as a loyal literature club subject. Not to mention, I'm of course looking forward to seeing your performance. Right. That's definitely not something that I can relate to. <laughs> Don't worry so much, you'll do fine. After all, you've been doing fine with these poetry discussions so far. So you say. Anyway, let's have a look at that, today's poem. Here it is. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. But although we're supposed to be discussing poetry right now, I can't help but remain preoccupied by thoughts of Sayori. I'm worried about her, to say the least. And such an unexpected... Uh, it's such an unexpected change that's come over her. Did something happen to her? Code? Huh? Sorry, did you just call my name? Yeah, twice actually. You seem like you're a million miles away. What's up? Uh, I was just thinking about whether uh, whatever's happened to Sayori. So sorry if I wasn't paying attention. It's fine, I understand. For what it's worth, you're a good friend for caring about her. Thanks, I just... I just hope that things can go back to normal sometime soon. Well, my advice would be to let her come to you on her own. She'll talk if she wants to talk. I think that you should respect her boundaries. You're right, I appreciate the advice, by the way. Of course, I'm always willing to lend a sympathetic ear if you need it, if you need one. Today might not be the happiest of days for my club, but that's alright. Not every day will be happy. You all put through this together. I hope so. I feel like I should be going. Uh, I, I feel like I shouldn't be going about the club normally, but I think that Sayori probably needs some normalcy right now. So in the end, I try to get the poem sharing back on track. Anyway, since we're supposed to be sharing poems right now, I almost forgot about it myself. Some president I am, huh? Monica quickly whips out her pristine composition notebook. Is my poem alright? Thanks. The box part two. Yeah, no, we've we've read this. You know. Right. Um. No, we're back to repeating stuff. Sayori. <laughs> Probably not much going on here. Ah, uh, hang on a second. I need to zoom in real quick. Ah. 
It's good to see you playing poetry. Seriously, Code? Yeah, truthfully, I wasn't really sure how much I'd like uh, writing poems, but coming here made me realize how enjoyable it can be. Looks like you've really been influenced by Natsuki, too. Huh? Have I? Hmm? Did you write it specifically for her? What? No, I didn't. I'll give you that impression. Never mind, it's a nice poem, by the way. Uh, thank you. An awkward silence descends upon us. It's good to see you making friends, though. Yeah, and now we're back to repeating stuff. Oh, never mind. I opened my mouth to call her out on it, but then I stopped remembering Natsuki's words. Maybe Natsuki was right, perhaps I am just overreacting. As she pointed out, Sayori is my best friend. Then again, it's not like we've really been acting like best friends for the past few years. There's clearly some distance between us, as much as I don't want to admit it. All I can do now is let her know I'm there and respect her boundaries. Sometimes you have to just work with the hand you've been dealt, I guess. Hey Sayori, look, this might sound a bit weird, but I want you to know that I'm there for you no matter what's going on. Poem sharing. Okay, next up Yuri. She didn't want to share the previous day, so probably not today either. Yuri glances over at me, but she quickly turns away. Perhaps she wants to be left alone for now. I'll let her come to me if she changes her mind. Yeah, figured as much. And last but certainly not least, our main girl Natsuki. Alright, let's see it. Well, you're certainly enthusiastic today, aren't you? Of course. You know, I like your writing. Aw, oh, thanks. Oh, shut up. Natsuki playfully punches my arm. It did take you a while to admit that, didn't it? Admit what? That you like my writing? Well, uh, of course. I had to put you in your place first. If I told you that you're good right off the bat, you wouldn't have gotten you would have gotten cocky. It's not like I was shy or something stupid like that. Or like jealous because your writing skills. That's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. I feel bad for anyone who gets that jealous. <laughs> Um, Natsuki? Yeah? You're not exactly the most confident in your writing, are you? Natsuki doesn't say a word. I finally understand. Natsuki acts so arrogantly to hide her insecurities from other people. If she constantly says that she's the best, people might just end up believing her. I mean, I definitely did. Code? Be completely honest. Do you like my poems? Natsuki? Of course I do. I already told you, your poems are my inspiration. I look up to you as a writer. Thank you, I needed to hear that. It's just that people never take me seriously, you know? All they ever say is that I'm cute or childish. Sometimes I don't want to be cute, but nobody ever listens. I put a lot of effort into writing and it seems like you're the only one to truly appreciate it. You just dismisses it because it's not sophisticated enough for her? Natsuki realizes that uh, she might have said that uh, a bit too loud and stops talking. Natsuki. I'm, I'm sorry that I treated you like that when I first met you. I had no idea how much you hated that and I'm sorry. And yeah, people can be jerks. They quickly form impressions and don't give people a chance. Which sucks. Yeah. Tell me something I don't know. But you can't change people. You just gotta take them as they are. I know. It just makes me mad. Yeah, it is pretty stupid, I'll admit. But that's life. Yeah. We both sit in silence for a minute. Well, moving on. Can I see your poem? I go to reach for Nazi's poem, which is sitting on a nearby desk. But she grabs my wrist. No. I mean... It's not any good, and yours is probably better anyway. Natsuki, you know I also like your writing. Besides, you have to, you have high standards for your, of yourself. If you say it's bad, then it's more than likely just fine. Eh, okay, here. Just... Natsuki turns away from me. Don't... I don't want you to see my face right now. Alright. Blue. What a nice color. Okay. It used to be that all my sight was filled with shades of black and white. Then one day I found someone, and somehow I could see alright. 
I had felt so small and had no clue that everything could have such hue. But when you came and held my hand, I felt like you had changed my view. A rainbow of colors sprouted out. From the thrust you showed me without a doubt. Trust you showed me without a doubt. Jesus Christ. My struggles before all faded away when I found what understanding is all about. Whenever I feel like I'm losing my way and my will starts to shake and shiver and sway, I'll still stand and fight and look to the light because when I have you, I won't go astray. Sometimes the sunlight is hidden from view and shadows will threaten to drown me anew. But I'll start to smile when we'll talk a while. But I'll start to smile when we talk a while. Because when I'm with you, the skies are blue. Aww. Hang on. Blue skies, right? The mod name. Didn't Yuri also kind of seemingly in, uh, indirectly name drop the mod name in her uh, love poem for us? I think so. So yeah, more similarities between the two. What's that look for? If you hate it, then just say it. I won't get mad. What? No, I don't hate it. It was just unexpected. I'm not used to you being this nice to me. D don't s don't just say that, dummy. You know what the point of writing is, right? Expressing feelings you can't say out loud. Yeah, I understand. I'm uh, sorry for not always getting the point. I do try, and thank you for showing this to me. I really, li I really like it. I mean, remember that I can think like this sometimes too? And uh, I'm glad you like it. I am the pro after all. Natsuki's voice is soft and shaky, a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. The confidence in her voice whenever she's bragging is completely gone. Um, do you want this back? I, I have another poem for the others to see. Um, I uh, guess I'll keep it. Uh, okay. Natsuki avoids eye contact as I slip the poem into my bag. And that's you're okay, everyone. So we're going over festival preparations now, which I don't really care about. I'm going with who would have guessed? Natsuki. <laughs> well, baking does sound like it could be fun. And cupcakes seem like they'd be a two person task. Trust me, baking is a blast. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. I thought you wanted to do the baking on your own. For the last time, I never said that. Besides, Code's right, baking is a two-person job. I mean, sorry Natsuki, I must have missed that part. Anyways, so Yuri and Yuri, will you be alright by yourselves? Well, Yuri does look a bit disappointed, so Yuri looks content with my choice. Of course. Yeah, definitely. I get the goodie bags done, no problem. And I'll certainly be able to handle the decorations on my own. Oh yeah? Then why do you make such a big deal out of working with code? I, um... Natsuki just put Yuri on the spot, and she does not look happy about it. Natsuki, I was just making a point that I'd appreciate some help. Unlike you, who wanted to work with code because it would be more efficient. Just, just what are you... Okay, okay, everyone calm down. Code has made his choice, and that's final. No more bickering. Natsuki and Yuri angrily eye each other before finally giving up on their argument. I'm off a thank you to Monica, she smiles back sweetly. I don't think anybody wants a repeat of our first official day, not even Natsuki and Yuri. <laughs> and especially not Monica. Okay, moving on. Does everyone know what they're, what they're doing for the festival? Everyone nods. Sweet. You guys excited? You guys excited for the festival? Oh yeah, definitely. Natsuki's mood is quick, uh, quickly changes at the mention of the festival. Everything except the performance is gonna be awesome. Monica rolls her eyes annoyed. Anyone else? How about you, Code? Are you excited? Me? Well, it'll be interesting at the very least. That's good enough for me. I'm looking forward to the festival as well, Monica. Yeah, I can't wait. Seems Sayori's cheered up a bit. That's great to hear. Uh, okay, everyone, remember to bring your stuff on Monday. 
that Master includes your poems. Will do. Alrighty then, see you guys on the fest at the festival. With that, everyone disperses to grab their things. I, s uh, start o I start over to Sayori, but a tug on my arm stops me. Hey, where do you think you're going? You know you have no way of communicating with each other, right? Uh, oh, right. Don't know how that slipped my mind. I uh, guess we should exchange phone numbers. Y yeah. Just don't make it weird or anything. Right. Natsuki hands me her phone and I hand her mine. Her phone case is bright and pink. Uh, is bright pink with uh, black polka dots. It's about what I expected from Natsuki. Although the phone itself seems to be one of the older generations. My phone, on the other hand, is a dark grey and doesn't have a case, just a screen protector. Nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. I put my number into Natsuki's phone and she does the same to mine. Once we're done, we hand the phones back. Jeez, your contact list is sad. It's basically just a Yori and your parents. Well, true enough. But do you really care? Also, hang on! <laughs> I did have the other club members at the towards the end. Is that just because uh, we're in a group chat and I got their numbers that way? But in that case, how did Monica get my number? Uh, she oh right she yeah right I no I think that was cleared up. She asked Sayori about it. Yeah okay. So we didn't even ha we don't even have the numbers for any of the other club members until later in the game. Hey, why are you uh, looking at my contacts? I had to put my number duh. Well, I'm not a very social person. I figured. Natsuki grins smugly. Okay, I'm gonna come over to your house on Sunday. My house? Yeah, why not? Oh, um, I just assumed that I'd be going to your house, uh, since, you know, I'm the one helping you. Ha! My dad would kill me if I had a boy over. That's a bit strict. I doubt my mother will care, since, she's pro since she probably won't be home. Good. The boys are just fine. Alright, I'll text you what we need. See you then. Oh, one more thing. Yeah? Thanks for the advice on Sayori. It's appreciated, really. Yeah, sure. I mean, I care about her too, so I don't want you saying the wrong things and making her worse. Yeah, I wouldn't want that either. Alright then. Just stick to my advice and you'll be fine. Noted. Good. You're finally learning. Okay, see you on Sunday. Bye. Natsuki walks out, leaving me alone in the club room. Wait, where's Sayori? I look around the club room, finding myself all alone. Guess she sneaked out while I was talking to, to Natsuki. She must have not wanted to walk home with me today. Ah, <sighs> oh well. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. It's already Sunday. So, and this is where I'm gonna end it. We're about at the three hour mark, not quite there, but pretty much. So, we've pretty much cleared the prologue. We're not all the way through Act 1 yet, but this is where it gets different, more so than usual. We're done with writing the poems. We're pretty much on the, confirmed on the Natsuki route now. So next up, we're actually gonna dive s straight into the beginning of Natsuki's actual character route. So starting with the hangout at our house, and then, after that, siding with her on the festival and jumping into Act 2. So yeah, we've basically cleared Sayori, uh, Nats pretty much the Natsuki character route prologue, so to speak. And this is where it gets real. So, I f feel like this is a good point to end the stream and a good point to pick up next time. So again, I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, wasn't too many people that came by, but I really appreciate everyone who uh, felt the need to check out my stream. It really does mean a lot to me. Just seeing that I have at least one viewer is al is always just a pleasant... Well, not to say surprise, because it's become commonplace by now that I have at least one viewer. But it's just really nice to know that there's actual actually people out there who watch my content every time. And I, I just really appreciate it. So now, to end the stream, I really want to thank everyone for watching this. And yeah, I guess I'll see you next time then. So until then, bye!